Hi, I am Retro Tato and you are watching ESA Winter 2019. You are about to watch Econoclass All Bosses Relaxed by Pukas M. Enjoy. All right, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Mike. Uh, this is Iconoclasts. Uh, it's a little indie game made by an Oakim Sandberg uh, by himself over eight years. Everything you're going to see was made by one person sat in the room coding and coding away and doing art and whatever. Uh, I'm going to be doing all bosses. Uh, you can probably guess what that means. Uh, I'm going to be playing on relaxed mode. I'll explain a little bit about what that means a bit later. Um, so time's going to start when I select the difficulty. So just crack on with it, I guess. Uh, three, two, one, start! Woo! Yay, I got a class. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do a few tricks, kind of one after the other. So, first, after we get out of bed, uh, we're gonna go here, do a quick back boost. That's where we shoot behind us and carry that momentum, quickly turn around. Then we do a kill jump. That is whenever we kill an enemy, we have a frame or two to do a jump input. And we use that to uh, fall back down and completely waste the kill boot. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Just imagine you didn't see any of that. Um, so now I'm going to try and do the thing. And I got the thing. That's good. So there, I was able to carry my momentum without doing a full jump. Um, and that let us skip a little bit. Uh, now we're in the first boss. This is controller. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, stand behind him, DPS him just a little bit, do a charge shot. Get a couple more shots off, and boom, that's the first boss done. One of 28, I think, and we're going to fight all of them, so it's pretty cool. Um, next up is a little skip called Bounceless. Uh, this is the most important skip. Uh, if you miss this, runs over, go to reset. Uh, so we'll see if we get it. Hey, we got it. There we go. It's not actually a reset. That's just a big meme in the community. Um, it's like a one or two frame trick that saves a couple of seconds, but it's pretty cool to get. So, quick ch ugh, kill jump. There we go. Goof that thing. Um, and then we're going to go home, and some agents from the one concern are here, and they're like, Hey, are you a mechanic? And we're like, No, we're absolutely not a mechanic. Uh, so, now we're going to go down and get our wrench, because we actually are a mechanic. We memed on him. So, the reason why that is an issue is, in this world... Uh, the one concern, the kind of rulers or whatever, the government basically, they like to keep control of this fuel source called ivory. And they don't want anyone being a mechanic because they might find a way to find another fuel source and then they won't have the monopoly over the world. It's a big kind of political point within the game. Um, but anyway, now we're in Block Rock. Uh, this is the hugest reset point. Not because there's any soft locks or anything, just because it's like a tutorial for all the movement and stuff. So, it's like all super tight and it's just really easy just to do a slight goof and then you just want to... Just kind of, um... See, I chained two kill boosts together there. That was really cool. Uh, like I say, it's just really tightly movement based and obviously you want a good start to the run. So, you kind of reset a lot here. Um, that was a goof. There's a slight ledge there, but it's fine. Um, did I talk about chests? I'll talk about chests in a bit. Um, so like I say, just going through, uh, gonna go fight a deer right here. There we go. And that's the deer done. So we needed to do that to get a key. Now keys are a very interesting part of this game. Excuse me. And we're gonna deal with that later. This is really hard. Uh, but I make it look easy because all I do is practice that trick. Uh, hopefully get an extra kill boost up here. Not quite. You can get a bit of extra height if that guy's in the right position. Uh, it doesn't always happen. Uh, so just chilling through. Going to open that for later. That's um, that's going to be handy to save his little thing. And now we're doing a trick called Ween Skip. Hopefully I get it. Oh, first try. There we go. Nice. Uh, that's called Ween Skip because the guy who thought of the idea is called weenus uh nothing nothing in here is called a ween it's not, i'm gonna stop saying that word now um so yeah we did that basically that is like a two frame trick to skip a puzzle um and it's pretty difficult and now we're going to our brother's house uh he's not around just yet we gotta do some stuff um so first we're gonna go get a quick little key 
Uh, up there's Letitia. I'll talk a bit more about Letitia in a bit, but she's very important. We have to see her a few times. Um, so I got that chest. What the chests give us are items for crafting, because there's crafting in this game. And not like Minecraft crafting, like little tweaks and upgrades, which we're going to talk to this guy now, which is why we have to do that previous bit of conversation. And we have to talk to this guy for Elro to show up. So that's our brother. He's... If you've played this game, you know what Elro's like. Uh, he's not a very good character. He's um, very selfish, very mean, is only really thinking about himself under the guise of thinking of others. But yeah, you'll, you'll see that in a bit. That wasn't meant to pause there, but you know, it's fine. So we got the ivory battery. As I said before about the one concerned controlling all the ivory, they have super limited supplies. So Robin comes in to fix something, but oh no, the one concern, they found it. So, now, basically, because they've been found to be sinners, um, they get killed. Uh, penance, as it's called. Sorry if you can hear my keyboard. I think you can. Um, anyway, here's Mina. She's our pirate friend from Azilagar. She stinks. That is actually canonically important. So, that'll come into it later. Um, uh, there we go. And now for some good jokes. I'm doing a little shuffle at the start. And that little shuffle lets me get some extra space. Oh, sugar, is that 11 o'clock? <laughs> there we go. Sorry, I have something I have to do <laughs> at 11 o'clock. Like this run. It's all good, though. Should have said that a bit sooner. Okay, so we're coming to another boss. I'm going to make just a quick save here, just for if, in case I have time to show something off later. Um... Now coming up to the next boss. This is Kathunk. So he's uh, he's pretty easy. Um, he's gonna do this. Wait for this phase. Hit some stuff with some wrenches, and then wash, rinse, and repeat for the first phase. You don't have to get those guys. They're not part of the phase. Uh, they just get in the way. So. Wait for that to come up. Mina's gonna shoot. Uh, she's a, yeah, she's got a shotgun. Um, you'll see a bit more of that later. Um, just gotta wait. Like I say, it's like the first proper boss fight, so it's not really very hard. But now we've done this phase. Now we get to do some mashing. So you can't. The gun doesn't fire as fast as you can press the button, unfortunately. But it can shoot pretty quickly. So that's that phase done, then as soon as we land, get a charge shot off, you'll see he's losing some health already. But we gotta wait for the charge shot, you see a little cooldown. Uh, it, I mean it is what it is, it's cooldown. So you just gotta wait for it, just so we can't, we can't just spam charge shots. Um, unfortunately for us, but it makes sense from a game perspective. So we're gonna go here, uh, we try and get away, but the one concern get us. Um, and then the, I think we fall off or something. Uh, so this captain here, who we're going to see later, he picks us up and he's like, nah, I don't want the trouble. Uh, so he gets rid of us. So now we wash up in the shard wastelands. So I'm going to get a blueprint right there. Uh, we need those to actually do the crafting. Um, we're not going to make anything till a bit later though, but you know, it's fine. Uh, hopefully I get a cool strat here. One, two, three. Boom, check that out, that's a one second time save. Uh, over the other skip to the puzzle. Um, have I talked about momentum conservation? I might not have, so I'm gonna do it now. Um, there's a few movement techs in this game. Um, the quickest one is ground pounding on like a slope and then jumping off. Uh, and then there's the gun boosting, that's like the second quickest way. And then there's, oops, so like here. I'm gonna carry that speed all the way over here. Do just damage boost through these guys. Um, it's just slightly quicker than dealing with them. Uh, there's also quick crawls, which I'm getting. If you like jump into a crawl space on like the frame that you enter it, you get to keep your. I don't know which speed it is you keep. I think it's your jump speed that you keep. 
and that lets you go through. I can't see chat right now, so if anyone in chat is telling me the right answer, uh, either Sean or Kurosh, um, you know, I think it's the jump speed. It makes sense that it would be the jump speed, but it might just be running speed. Um, hopefully I get a cool swish here, or a goof it, you know, either or. Ah, swish, nice. That is surprisingly difficult. It's kind of threading the needle a little bit. Um, if you mess it up, it's no biggie, like you just land on a ledge or bonk the wall a little bit. It's not like a huge deal, but, you know, it's fine. Um, so, yeah, we're just going through. The reason we're doing this, um, we need to get, like, uh, the other way is blocked. So, we're just wandering around here. We don't know why we're wandering around here, uh, as far as the game's concerned. But we're going to get another gun. Uh, after I quickly get a tweak, not tweak, um, uh, whatever, improve him, um, go over here, bonk Kirk on the head, hi Kirk, um, sorry about that, uh, you know, it's fine, go up here, talk to these guys, and these guys are a bit stupid, it's like, ah, oh, there you Kirk, there you are Kirk, oh, you're not Kirk, what's up with that, um, but like, you've got a wrench, you're fine, you're cool, do this puzzle for us, um, I'm doing instant text as well. I'll talk a bit about that. This is going to be X. Uh, this is random every time. Totally random. Not a preset pattern whatsoever. Uh, so I have to react super quickly to everything that's going on. Um, and I also need to remember the pattern because it's the one thing that I forgot. Because I don't, usually, don't really need to practice this. Uh, X. And then triangle, triangle, X. Uh, this this doesn't actually play any other part in the game, which is a bit of a shame, because I thought it was going to have something, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, so right now, I'm actually holding the input for instant text, uh, because there's going to be some text boxes at the end of this, and it's just easier to keep that input held. So basically, how instant text works is if you press the uh, confirm button and the wrench button about a frame or two after each other, um, the game thinks that you're pressing space, like the skip button, pretty much every frame. So it just lets us skip through text super quick and saves our mashing. The only issue is it's a little bit tricky. So now we've got a gun, another gun. Uh, we've got the hamburger shot, as the community calls it, or the stun grenades, as the game calls them. Because Robin doesn't kill anyone at all in the game. Uh, she stuns all of them. So we have the stun gun, we have the stun grenades, um, and we're just going to go through. Uh, so we got the bomb gun, so now we can go the other way, which would have been blocked had we looked at it before. Uh, I'm going to try for a trick here. And I got it, okay, so that, I was able to hold a back boost. And doing back boosts while crouching are super tricky, they're like completely frame perfect when you do them while crouching. Um, in the air, they're not so bad, but I got it like second or third try, so that's not that's not too bad. Uh, do -do, going through. So we've done that, so we're gonna go this way now and miss that guy. That's where you're actually supposed to craft tweaks. I'll talk a bit about where we're actually going to craft tweaks a bit later. Um. What else did I have to say? Um, there's not a lot going on right now. I don't know if you have a donation, like one donation. Uh, sure thing. We have a donation from Anonymous. $20 to say the 20% run, the $20 percent run is not over. Referring to stream two, that is. <laughs> okay, so what I did there, that was a small little skip. I basically kind of went through there uh, before that purple platform fell down, and that let me just skip a quick cycle. Um, so now we're at Kabuka. This is a boss. This is um, one of the Izzy people's defense systems. Um, and it's what it does, it's fine with us, but it doesn't like Royal very much, because Royal is a member of the One Concern. He is like the next in line to the throne. Uh, did I mention there's a religious theme to this game? <laughs> so he's basically... I don't know who the next Jesus was meant to be. Um, 
Yes, yeah, so he's like next in line. Uh, what was I doing? I was going to do a strat here. There we go. There we go. I did the strat. Um, so yeah, he's he's next in line. Uh, but he's really whingy and no one likes him. So remember that. That's super important. Uh, now I'm going to shoot missiles at this guy. Um, there we go. And that's the quickest... That's the quick kill, basically. Um, so yeah, he's down... Uh, Royal's still there. He's just here making flowers or something. So don't don't worry too much about spoilers if you're thinking about playing this game. The only thing that's really going to get spoiled for you is like the locations and the who the final boss is. But apart from that, like we're skipping all the cutscenes. So it oh. Yeah, um, there's a good part coming up in a second for donations. So, um, so I'm just going to get a quick glitch right here. Um, I don't actually need to do this here, but I'm going to just to kind of uh, flex a little bit. So, But it's uh, pretty frame perfect. There we go. So now I'm air swimming. I don't need to do this, but it's gonna save some time later but it just kind of balances out uh and i'm gonna throw it to you donations for a little bit just yeah get, get your backlog cleared <laughs> all right uh fox <laughs> donated 22 dollars and 87 dollar cents to say there will be no dad hugging on my watch <laughs> speed be damned and uh yeah that uh donation did go to the towards your incentive oh thank you <laughs> and uh yeah voted to not hug dad so they uh, they must have played the game because anyone who played the game will not want to hug dad <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've also got a donation from Technocyan. I think that's uh, supposed to be pronounced that way. That's uh, five dollars. No message. Okay, oh, thank you. Uh, is, there, is there any more? We're fairly quiet bit right now. If you have, like maybe one or two more. We're good on donations, but I could uh, I could read something else for you. Um. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah. Um. All I'm gonna do in this bit is just kind of ricochet these grenades off of Tolo, which translate that from Portuguese, you'll have a good little Easter egg right there. Um, yeah, and that's all we have to do for this phase. Um, so yeah, read uh, read whatever you have to read. Alright, I would love to tell everyone about uh, one of our partners, the city of Equa. It's a beautiful city to live in, and one of the most prominent IT clusters in Sweden. Uh, the ESA Arcade will soon open in the city of Equa with Jubeat, DDR, Groove Coaster, Tetris, Candy cabs, pinballs, and more. So thank you, the city of Equa. Oh. Yeah, I was playing Groove Coach the other day. That, 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 that game is fun. I'm very bad at it, though. Um, so, yeah, so now that we're swimming, um, all we can do is wrench. Normally, we DPS with the blaster. But, you know, we can't because I chose to swim. Like I say, normally you wouldn't, but... It balances out time-wise, um, and I just kind of want to show off the air swim. It's a little sneak peek to what we're going to be doing in a bit. Um, so that's helicopter. Uh, it's General Chrome in there. He, we're not going to think about him too much. Um, and now we have Dad, the Dad that you will or will not be hugging. Um, he's actually passed away. So the conversation about whether ghosts can feel hugs or not um, is fairly relevant to this. Oh my. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you can see instant text uh, just skips through so quick. This is like a really bad mashing section before. Um, so he's kind of talking to you. Basically, he was a mechanic for the one concern, um, but he unfortunately died on the job, but he wasn't a very good dad, unfortunately. He, he wasn't really there. Um, so, so yeah, so now that we're swimming, we can actually skip going to the other side and we're going to swim straight over here to the trigger for the next section um the reason you think that would be quicker but the reason it isn't is just because swimming is so much slower than not swimming uh wait yeah swimming is slower than not swimming um and also you have to mash space a lot 
So I'm going to make a safety save. Ah, oh, crap. That's fine. I saved it over the save I made. That way to save for later. But it's fine. I brought backup saves just in case. Um, so next I'm going to set my last grounded uh, position. Uh, which if anyone watched uh, the AGDQ run. Uh, I don't know. If that, AGDQ. There we go. If anyone watched that, they'll kind of know what's coming up. Um, so I'm going to use this wrench animation to kind of see my position. Because uh, in relaxed mode, um, we don't have a breath meter. Uh, what relaxed mode is, is a basically the easy mode. Um, you can't die whatsoever. The dev put it in for people who just wanted to enjoy the story. Um, but, you know, didn't want to be held back by if they were good at the game or not. Um, oh, I'm like really out of bounds right now, <laughs> but that's an important thing. Um, I got something, uh, called Air Swim, and I use that to swim throughout all the walls. Uh, that last grounded position, uh, the way that worked is basically I'm in an ungrounded swimming state right now, which is kind of important, because when you jump out of bounds in this game uh the game's like hey let's um let's put you back in bounds let's put you back to where you're on your feet um but obviously you didn't plan for air swimming so it's like we'll just use the coordinates from whatever screen you were last on don't don't check what screen it was just get the coordinates so it tries to put us to those coordinates on the screen but because we're on a different screen than where we were grounded uh, it puts us to those coordinates, which was very handy. And we're going to do a similar thing here. Uh, one second. It's going to get super broken right now. So I'm going to stand here, dodge into water. That lets us swim out of bounds. Uh, go underneath, get out of bounds here, hit a out of bounds here, hit a trigger there, zip over here. Uh, <laughs> you're good. You're all following. Uh, and then go back out of bounds. Uh, swim across here. Go over here. Get a Trinity, that's a quest that we're doing right now. Uh, we kind of glossed over it. Uh, go up here, get a, another Trinity. I'm actually gonna skip the key from downstairs just cause uh, we, we do something else so we don't need it anymore. So it's a little bit quicker to not get it. Um, so we're getting some more Improvium. That's gonna be for another tweak. Uh, rocket blast that thing, which is just slightly quicker than using a grenade. Um, not much though. Uh, and then, oh, I'm gonna do something really cool. Hopefully I don't goof. So, first a quick little zip. Oosh, there we go. That was nice. Uh, the way that works is we do a stomp into, like, a one, a one by one space. And that puts our head in the ceiling, and the game doesn't like that. So, ooh, will that, ooh, will that work? Let's see. Fish jump, there we go, that was super slick. Um, so there we chained two jumps, two kill jumps, one after the other. And it's very, very, it's easy once you know, but to learn it is tricky. Uh, what, was I, what was I saying before? Uh, the zips, yeah, so it puts our head in the ceiling. And it doesn't like that, so it just tries to zip us kind of up into bounds. Uh, sometimes it works out well for us, like there. Other times it doesn't, but we know where to use it. Um, yeah, so just going through. Uh, you got time for like a quick donation if there are any? There are currently no donations. Uh, okay, up. that's fine. I'm just gonna keep asking. I keep I keep forgetting about donations to be honest. Uh, but just remind me if I forget. Um, so now we're coming up to the first real RNG section. Uh, we call these the robots, even though they're not cold robots in the game. Oh, are you kidding me? So that's how it's RNG. That missile was supposed to hit. Uh, but he flew up just a little bit, and that meant that it missed. Um, fortunately, they always spawn in the same place, but which uh, robot they go into is completely random. And they're just rubbish. And he never... That is the first time I've seen that. Insert, that's never happened before me. Um... <laughs> He never flies up. But anyway, uh, just heading through. We've got um, 
We've got all the keys now. The Trinity keys. Not the regular keys. I always forget this. That is something I do do. Um. Do do jeez. Alright. Keep it going. <laughs> um, yeah. So we've got the keys. So. Oh, no, I don't have Dodger. That's fine, though. And, um. Uh, I could probably get some of these guys. Not quite enough, but I should be good coming up next. There we go. Just need to. There we go. Alright, so if you liked Fish Jump, uh, you're going to get to see it again. Can I go two for two? Oops, oops. And I can go two for two. So we do that. Um, to, uh, skip this robot section. There's normally two. If we came up from below, we would get locked into it. But because we came in from the left, uh, we can actually leave again. And that lets us skip that fight. It kind of works out like a net even if you get a good... If you got, like, a good robots fight, it would be, like, a net even. But it's consistent, so we just go for that. And, yeah, just going to solve a couple of puzzles. Uh, that's a tight little optimization now. And we shoot that grenade and shoot another one before the block comes in. And it just sits nicely on top. That's um, not too bad. Uh, so this is Inti. This is the Izzy People's security system. And they use this to move the location of where they're at. But the one concern's got a hold of it. So now we're in a... Double boss fight. So I'm just going to bait an attack here. Do that. Hit that. Go around here and fire Mina's gun. It's very nice. Um, am I alright? Nope. So I have to do this twice. And then... That was a handy damage boost. And then now... Now that we've done that, we literally just have to DPS him. Uh, it's a pretty easy fight. Uh, you might think, just back to the relax mode thing, you might think that not being able to die makes the run a bit pointless. Uh, some people think that. And I agree that, like, it makes it easier, definitely, like, just to not die. Like, there's still really tight execution in the run. So I like to think of it more of, like, a New Game Plus run, where people just get, like, the best weapons and just plays through it. Uh, good example is Time Spinner, New Game Plus. If you watch that, that is just a cakewalk as far as bosses are concerned. Uh, but anyway, so we've got rid of the One Concern controller that was um, on our Inti there. I'm going to try to show something off. And I didn't get it. It's fine. It's just a little funny thing you can do. Uh, but it's it's no big. Um, so that's Agent White. You might have seen him before. He is trying to kill us. He's not very nice. Um, that wasn't good, though. Um, so, you know, we're trying to, we, we don't want to get killed, really. So <laughs> we're going to try and get away. Um, so we're just going to slide here. Um, do we have a donation, or can I talk about Agent White a bit? Well, uh, if we have a second, I'd love to remind everyone about your ongoing donation incentive. Yeah, yeah, yeah go for it, yeah. All right, because uh, Don't Hug Dad is, is currently in the lead, and uh, if you, like me, are a supporter of hugs, then we cannot let that stand. <laughs> hugging your dad is quicker, but not hugging is more morally correct. So, I'll leave that with you, viewers. Um, so, yeah, so Agent White, his... Also, if you're annoyed at me for not getting this key, I'm getting the key now. Don't worry about it. Um, he's got two pairs of glasses. One of them is hot glasses, one is cold glasses. He's an agent of the One Concern. Basically, they are people who have been fused with ivory to enhance their abilities. And But they're not quite pure infused. Like, Royal is a perfectly infused uh, person. These people, not quite perfect. They have some form of, like, a robot limb. Uh, so this guy is kind of like the dude from Ghost in the Shell, whose name escapes me, but the one with the circle eyes. Does anyone know his name? Could someone look that up real quick? That's going to bother me. <laughs> uh, 
Um, and I, oh, that didn't hit. It's fine. He's just going to lose health. So basically, we just have to get him down to half health. And then he's going to regenerate. And then Mina's going to whack these seeds into him. Um, the Izzy people's seeds, they react like super violently with the ivory in the blood. Um, so that's why they turn into trees. Um, yeah, now we've done that. Um, you know, head back through. So we've done all that now. Um, defeated Agent White. And uh, I did say Robin didn't kill anyone. Robin didn't technically kill him. That was Mina, because she had the seeds. Um, so we're going to go back through. Hopefully get that. That's not a hard trick. But you see, we're carrying the speed. This is, um, like I say, the fastest form of movement. Back boosts pretty fast. Uh, dodge rolling everywhere is a little bit faster, but not really by much. Um, but now we have to get rid of the rest of the one concern. So we've got one. Um, while I'm here, I'm going to get some technium because I do the route a little bit different. They normally get the technium a bit later. Um, so yeah, so the guys without shields, uh, we missile. Uh, the guys with shields, we stomp on, apart from this guy, who is conveniently facing the other way. Um, oh, come on, walk out. Walk out. There we go. Uh, this is RNG. I might get a double here. Get a double, get a double. No. You can, there's two people in this room. Uh, sometimes you can get them both at once. Uh, it just depends on where they're stood. Like I say, it's pretty random. In here, there can be, like, fluctuations of, like... Anywhere from like 10 to 20 seconds. If you're not so good like me. I'm okay. Uh, go through here. So fire missile off of that guy. Stomp on that guy. Um, so yeah, so we're going through... We've got two missile guys in this room. But fortunately, by the time it takes us to get to the other end... Did that... Oh my god, he jumped. It's. I'm just going to reload him. I'm not having much luck with people jumping today. Um, come on, get out, get out, get out, get out. There we go. Okay, so we're done. That was, that was, that was good. That wasn't too bad, apart from that little bit at the end. Um, so now we have an electric wrench. We have our f second upgrade of the game. Um, so what that lets us do is... I don't know if you saw any blue rails uh, out and about. Uh, it lets us kind of slide on those, and it does something else that I don't quite remember, but that's the important thing. Um, we're going to do a little bit of a skip now, though. Um, we're meant to go up top and talk to Mina, and uh, Mina's friend's supposed to get kidnapped. Uh, but we, we just don't really care, really. So, back into here, we're getting out of bounds. Um, this is like the most broken area of the game. Um, so we're going up here. Up here. Like so you can't see where you are. I have pretty good visual cues for where I need to be. Um but yeah, it's that's like the trickier thing about learning this category. Uh but now we're into a place we're not supposed to get to yet. We are in the fast travel. Um which this game being in Metrovania, all good Metrovanias have a fast travel. We're not get meant to get here till much later though. Um I had a bit of trouble getting that because the y-axis is like one frame like one frame on the y-axis to activate that which while you're standing is fine but while you're swimming you're slightly off off kilter so I'm gonna talk to that guy quickly um, so I'm in a bit further into the game than I'm meant to be uh, but I'm currently swimming and that's a bit of a problem so, uh, to rectify that, I'm going to do a save and quit. Uh, normally, you just, you die, uh, but I can't die. So, uh, save and quit gets rid of the, uh, the state there. Um, it is down here. Yeah, I'm fine. So, a little puzzle skip there. Another little puzzle skip here. Um, you can also, like, you can use the, um, the charge shot as a double jump. Uh, that is intended, I think, but we use it in 
kind of unintended ways. Um, yeah, so I'm going to open up this little shortcut for later. And then hopefully get the slick strat in this room, which I did. That is nice. And now we're going to fight another boss. So the reason I had to be not swimming is because if we enter this boss while swimming, we'll skip part of it. And with the nature of the category being all bosses, we're not allowed to skip any bosses. Um... So, this, unfortunately, is a bit random. There are two phases where I can attack him. Um, and two phases where I can't. And it's totally random which one he wants to do. Um, so, I'm just going to react to those. Um, donations or plugs, whatever. Now's a good time. Alright. Well, I'd love to remind everyone that uh, we've got plenty of donation incentives for you all to donate towards. And it all adds up. Not only providing extra entertainment on stream, but also making a difference for children all over the world in Save the Children's programs. $1,000 can pay for the construction of a village school, giving the gift of education to children who might otherwise not be able to access it. So, please, thank you very much for all your donations. Thank you very much. Um, so now we're at the second phase. This is what we can actually skip, um, but we're not allowed. I guess maybe we could, actually. Um, it's technically part of the boss. Um, generally, our definition for what a boss is, is any enemy that locks you into the room and has a health bar. So, now I'm thinking about it, this part doesn't actually have a health bar, so... We'll see, it's technically part of the boss fight, though, so... We'll see, maybe I'll spark some drama in the community, who knows. Um, so yeah, so I just have to... I'm shooting here, because um, that's going to block whatever attacks he's doing and then I just have to do a charge shot a uh, charge wrench thing um, so we've done that now um, I think I'm meant to make fleet foot right now no why not make fleet foot later I make fleet foot later that's fine um, so now uh, you can see the music's a bit messed up because I've gone like so far out of order right now um, there's like two other bosses before this. Um, so, Royal, you might have seen before, he really likes his... Oh, come on, fast crawl. There we go, fast crawl. So he really likes us. he keeps trying to show us off to his one concern friends. Even though we are wanted by the one concern. Um, so he brings us in, and they're like, Oh, Royal, great, thanks, you brought the fugitives to us. Um... And, you know, obviously we get put in jail. Um, nice little momentum conversation, conversation, conservation there to uh, skip that little puzzle. I'm going to get this, hit that dude. That's very nice. I'm going to get our wrench back. Uh, yeah, they took our weapons off us because they put us in jail. Kind of kind of makes sense. But I'm not going to do a zip in here. We could, we can zip in here. But I'm a fan of not soft locking the game that I'm currently doing a run of. Um, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, now we're in tower. You see up there, we've got a load of keys. Um, we actually have around five. I think it's four or five. Um, but you only see three, because you're never intended to get more than three. So the dev just didn't put anything in place to show more than three keys. So, you know, not a glitch. It's just, you know, it's fine. Why would you? Um, but now that we have all these extra keys, and we have Dodger, um, uh, so a nice little, uh, it's too linear for skips, apparently, but watch out for softbox. Uh, so that was a little nod by the developer there. Um, yeah, so I was saying, so the keys, uh, now let's talk about the dodge roll thing. The dodge roll, um, we can use that to go through one square gaps, and that lets us skip th to that bit just a little bit earlier than we're meant to. Uh, we're supposed to kind of like go all the way around. Um, in these crawl spaces, it's quicker to dodge Because we can't... You can only do the fast crawl on ones that you can uh, jump into. And we can't jump into these ones. So, unfortunately, we have to do the slightly slower dodge rolling. 
but I can do it on this one. There we go. I actually like only really figured out how to do this this like last night because I was always really bad at them. But you know, I'm good now, so it's fine. Um So now we have our guns. Uh we got them back. Um so that's pretty much all we need to do in tower. We've got a couple of boss fights though. Uh otherwise we just leave. Um but yeah, the way the way we've done tower is very unintended. You're supposed to get lost for ages like everyone does. Um but we just do left side, right side. Uh hopefully I'm gonna get a trick that I call the yeet. And I didn't get it. Um we'll try it again. I got it, alright. As they say, um, hello cringe compilation. Anyway, so <laughs> I got the yeet. Um, basically, that's just a kind of long shot. And obviously, it saves time to do it further away. Um, so we do it further away. Obviously, it's easier to just. Oh, I need to be charging here. Right, I'm just going to dodge it through it. It's fine. It's, it's, it's not quicker if I keep goofing. Um, so yeah, so that one is just quicker to do it from the left. No real trick, it's just getting the right height. So second try was okay. Going down here, not only to get a key, um, but also we have to... I keep charging for some reason. Uh, we have to go down there to trigger this boss fight. Hopefully I get the cool strats that I've been practicing. So he's going to go here, and then I'm going to jump there. Oh, fine. So, we have to parry him. <sighs> this isn't going too well. It's fine, though. So, we have to parry him. Uh, I'll just stand here. That's fine. Uh, we have to parry him and parry him. Oh, my. <laughs> parry him and then shoot him. Whew, that was rough. Um, yeah. Is there anything else I was saying? No, that's it. We parry him, we shoot him. And that's that. Um, this one, however, is a little bit different. Um, we're gonna shoot him in the back. Repeatedly. And that's the boss over. That one's way better, but I don't think you can do it on the other fight. Um, but it's fine. So we beat him both the Watchmen. Uh, I'm going to make a slight little detour uh, before we go to the next one. There's three Watchmen. Uh, well, I mean, it's the same guy, but there's three Watchmen fights. And normally we'd go do the third one now, and everyone else would because they'd have done this stuff already. Uh, but I want this key, so I'm going to dodge roll into that. That's going to let me keep a bit of extra time. Uh, speed. There we go. Um... Go down, and we want to we want to come down here anyway, because uh, we want something. We want what's in this room, and what's in this room, you might ask. Well, another wrench. I know we just got one, but now we've got the best wrench in the game. Um, a little bit earlier. I mean, depending on how you look at it, it's technically earlier than intended. Because you're not supposed to be here without doing the other stuff. So, you know, whatever. But this is where you get it. Uh, you notice the music's still a bit kind of, like, hasty and anxious. It's not meant to be at this point, I don't think. Um, but when we sequence break, it gets a bit confused. So there we go. Nice little dodge roll into here. And now I'm back into the fast travel. Uh... So I'm going to go back to Shard Wastelands. Uh, the reason I'm going to do that, if you remember, I mentioned Letitia before. And she's part of a little side quest uh, that you have to do to unlock a boss. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you can only like get to her at certain points in the story. So we couldn't get to her while we were here before because she wouldn't spawn. Um, so this is just going to be backtracking, so any any plugs or donations are good here, if we have any. 
Well, we actually just got a donation from Anonymous, oh. giving ten dollars, and that uh, turned the tides on uh, our bid war here. Oh, nice! So uh, we are back on track to uh, to hug Dad. All right. But uh, the difference is less than five dollars. So oh, if okay. you're uh, if you're thinking about either side of those, you can uh, donate to uh, either lock that in or uh, turn the tide once more. All right, cool. Like I say, if you're bothered about speed, you definitely want to hug that. So there's Letitia. Uh, you saw her very briefly. We don't actually have to talk to her, which is great. Uh, you just have to be in the same room as her. So now that we've done that, uh, we can leave again. So again, I'm literally just going to be leaving. Um, so not too much to say. Uh, you've seen all this before. It's it's kind of like the only real tedious part of the run. Everything else is pretty smooth flowing. Uh, but a Letitia side quest is a bit annoying. But we're going to minimize a little bit of it, which is why we did Carver and Tower early. Um, but oh, we're coming up with some cool stuff now. Uh, boring part's uh, over, just a little bit. So, uh, we got a cool trick right here. I'm going to hold fire, hold... And do a dodge, uh, dodge roll into that. And sorry for the flashing. I should have uh, mentioned that. It's going to be a few flashes. Um, that's what we call a quantum leap. So the game doesn't like it when we dodge roll into gaps. And it lets us skip over a screen completely. So even though it looks like we just went from one screen to the next. We actually skipped over two or three screens. Um, I'll try and show that off. Better later. I should have done it then, but I didn't. So yeah, whatever. Um... So we need to go down here, talk to this lady, she's going to start another quest. Um, what's that quest? Another trigger for a boss fight, basically. Um, so we're going to run all the way through here. That's why we opened the door before, uh, like right at the start of the game. About 40 minutes ago we opened that door. Um, and like I say, that's uh, that's just so we can keep running and save a little bit of speed. I always miss. It's very easy to just stump the ground and do nothing. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to go fight another boss after I... Uh, that's not what I want to do. There we go. That's what I'm more what I wanted to do. Fire this shot into here. Hit him with my wrench. We can't actually kill those yet. Uh, we need another gun to kill those. Um, so I've got my ivory oil. Um, again, that's just for crafting. Uh, I'm going to craft something in a little bit. Uh, but not just yet. So, cool little movement in this room. I wrench as I'm jumping down, not only because we need to charge it, but because I want to hit that ghost. Uh, so now we're fighting Spaceman, and this is a strat that I came up with. Hopefully I get it. Almost. Three, four, five. Okay, we're good. Two, three. There we go. That was a pretty smooth fight. That was good. Uh, you can applaud, Hannah, if you want. A little bit of applause. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so the music's still really edgy, and we're going to do nothing really important. Um, we spoke to that guy, because uh, we're going to go get a key. I'm not still clapping. <laughs> it was a good trick, but you know, it wasn't, it wasn't that good. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to go into his boat. And we're going to steal his key. We don't necessarily need to get this one, and it might not be quicker to get this one, but we're in a... Um, we're in kind of like the middle of a reroute right now. Um, so I'm kind of, it's kind of a mix of old and new route stuff. I say we, I'm in the middle of a reroute. Um, other people are fine with their routes. I, I want to change it. Um, so we've done that. Um, also, shout out to DL Kurosh while I'm here. He just got like a 143 or something. So, very good. Um, so, yeah, so we've done all that. Uh, took the time out to fight that boss. 
uh, get some ivory oil. And now we're going to go back to tower. Because, you know, we actually, we do need to finish it at some point to progress the story. So, we're back. I think this way is quicker. No other runners do this route. They they would have done Spaceman uh, after Azilagar. The underwater section. But I want to do it now. Because I think this is quicker. Because we have to come down here to get the wrench anyway, so I feel like it kind of adds up, if I can do that. Okay, so now we're nearly done in tower. Uh, I might get a boss skip here accidentally, but it's fine because I can go back and fight him. Right, so I'm just going to let go and make sure I don't get the boss skip. There we go. If you press the elevator button, on like the exact right frame, uh, you can just skip that fight. It'll just keep going up. <laughs> I got it. I got that during my speedrun Rochester run of no air swim. Uh, so Watchman Three, it's actually a pretty good fight casually. Like it's pretty intense because it's like super claustrophobic. Uh, but obviously, when you know how to cheese it, it's. Um, not as interesting. I basically just do shot and wrench after each other. And that's kind of one of the more quicker DPS options. Um, so now, if I've done everything right, I'm going to do one, two, three, and have two keys left. That's good. That means I'm good with the keys. Uh, like I say, we got all them. Like, that's part of the reason for the route in uh, Azilagar. Can I get fast crawl? No, I didn't. Getting fast crawl is kind of annoying because if you miss it, you know, you, you just have to keep going. Because, you know, you gotta wait to get it again. Uh, so, yep, going down. A load of, like, story stuff's happening in here. Elro's there. He's being whingy. And Black's like, hey, you killed my girlfriend. That's not cool. I'm gonna rip your arm off. So, Elro's got... He'll have an arm missing later. Uh, but fortunately, that Silver Watchman that... We actually fought, like, several times. He saves us. He takes us here. Not sure why exactly. Also, uh, our dad was trying to speak to us there, uh, but we just hung up. I say hung up. We skipped the cutscene. Uh, I'm just going to quickly equip the tweak. All right, so I've got Fleet Foot. So what this lets us do is run just a little quicker. Um, and now it's a supposed to be able to see in this room. Uh, you can make yourself be able to see, but I just dodge roll through it, and that works just as well. And then a little gap to dodge roll into, and now a really cool trick. Uh, if I get this, it's really cool. We call it either bat jump or dark caves skip. So... Hey, there we go. That was cool. Um, so what I did there was I combined a kill jump and a rocket boost um, and that let me jump just a little bit higher than normal um, so now Silver Watchman's here he's taken over by the blue goop uh, don't ask me what the blue goop does because I don't remember but what we do is now with that third wrench what that let us do is it lets us charge up our bombs uh, get some electric going on them uh, so you can see when I shoot, eek, when I shoot a rocket now, <laughs> you see it leaves uh, like a a field of electricity. Uh, so that just constantly damages him because he's pretty weak to uh, to electricity. This phase isn't though, so I got to remember not to charge it here. Go. Why does he always go left now? I don't know how you get him to go right. But it's fine. But then we're gonna rocket him in the face because this guy is weak to rockets. So we just one shot him. I don't I don't know if everything else one shots because I'm too scared to test. Um, but you know it's fine it's fine. Uh, just gonna do a quick safety save here. Um, just in case I goof this. So you remember the air swims, right? Um, so we're gonna get another one. Uh, so there we go. The way we get those ones is it's kind of the game gets a bit confused in transitions while you're swimming. So, 
we enter the transition and then like leave it immediately. Uh, oh, I goofed, I goofed, I goofed, it's fine. So yeah, so we like leave the transition immediately and the game gets a bit confused and it puts us on the wrong screen. Okay, now we're good, now we're good. So swimming out of bounds. Like I say, now we can actually see where we are. This is really nice. So you can see that little lighter patch on the floor. That's where I am currently. Um, so that's nice. This is the only time we can really see while air swimming. But it's the last time we actually do like a long air swim, if I remember correctly. I don't think we air swim anymore. I should know because I'm doing the run. But I remember when I get to it. That was actually risky. Um, so we're going to get that key. And then... We need to not be swimming again. So, unfortunately, I have to line up my y-axis. Uh, rub my nose. And save and quit, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, now, so now we're not swimming again. Uh, little small puzzle skip here. Uh, we're meant to do none of that stuff. This is going to skip going over to the right and getting the key. And... Auto-scroller! <laughs> um, donations, if you got them. There is nothing I can do to speed this bit up. So, uh, go nuts. Alright, well, I'd love to tell you that... Uh, well, do, do I love to tell you? Well, You anyway. can tell me if you want. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the, uh, the tides have once again been turned oh. after Anonymous donated another $5 with the comments, No hugs. <laughs> no hugs. Alright. Um, yeah, so... This auto-scroller, basically, this guy is... This is the Omega controller. So you saw the little dudes. They can kind of manipulate the world and stuff. But this is like the big one. So he does a lot of world manipulation. Um, and unfortunately, he's like the worst boss fight in the game. Uh, one hand. No hands. <laughs> You just have to sit here and just spam wrench. It does get a little bit more involved um, after this phase, um, but it's still an auto scroller. Um, I think it's like five minutes. Um, so if I'm talking, as soon as the donation comes in, just cut me off. Um, I'll just talk about the game a bit, I guess. Um, so there's gonna be a cool animation starting soon. That's, this should be, I think about now, yeah, so this, interestingly enough, he's not, the developers actually talked about this, and he's not actually just changing the texture of the models, he's actually modeled this room four times, and is swapping between those four models, um, it's a slight difference, I don't know why I did it that way, whether he, um, it's because of the engine he used, or what? Uh, which, actually, surprisingly enough, is Construct. So if you remember that kind of free, like, game developer software, uh, this whole game is made in that, so you can make... Oh my god! I should stop talking. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I did that in practice as well, I never do that. Um, yeah, sorry everyone. Well, if you don't how, want to talk, I can talk how, instead. How, how long did I just lose? When did I start this bit? I'm, I'm guessing about two minutes. Ah, uh, right? that's not too bad. Yeah, you, uh, you, you go nuts. <laughs> All right. Well, I'd love to uh, remind everyone that uh, if you have Twitch Prime, then uh, you can check if uh, you can use it again for this month and uh, ask you to, uh, yeah, use it right here for ESA and support the event. We, uh, we'd really appreciate it. And also just a shout out to Twitch, who... Uh, support the event with promotion, and has welcomed us to TwitchCon Europe. Guess I'll si say hi to my friends who are watching at home. <laughs> While well, I'm here, hi Matthew, hi Daniel, hi Chloe, hi Kevin. Also hi to my dad if he's watching. If you want to donate to Hug or Not Hug, I'll, uh, I'll do it IRL when I get back. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> That's also uh, a good thing to mention, that uh, 
Don't Hug Dad is still in the lead right now. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, actually. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. One second. Uh, is that two people? Yes, yes, it sure is. Oh, nice. All right. I would love to tell you that uh, Anonymous has do donated five dollars towards uh, Hugging Dad, and immediately followed by that, uh, Trip Wires donated fifteen dollars, saying "Free hugs here." <laughs> So that uh, put Hug Dad well in the lead for now. Nice, nice. Okay, I am going to concentrate. Literally, like, I've never done that before until this morning. Um, like, you can see... Oh my god! Oh! F <laughs> I'm just gonna hide under here. <laughs> Oh my god. Hannah, do you want to do this bit? This really isn't hard, and I know I've just lost like five minutes. It's fine, my estimate is very generous though, so... Uh, sorry. <laughs> Alright, well I can uh, continue yeah, talking yeah. about... Uh, well, here we go. Shout out to Twitch for accommodating us at TwitchCon Europe. Definitely swing by and check out some speedruns if you're going to the event in Berlin mid-April. Thank you very much for uh, for having us, Twitch. And I'd also uh, like to take this opportunity to remind you that you can support our charity of choice, Save the Children, by donating as little as five dollars. You can, sorry. By donating as little as $5, you can help 20 children with treatment against pneumonia, a life-threatening illness. If you're enjoying the event, please consider donating. Every little bit helps. Together, we are making a difference. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, excuse me? Okay, that was not my fault, but that was a soft lock. Uh, oh my god. This was actually on PB pace as well until this fight. This should not have taken so long. We will still be underestimate though, don't worry. Okay, I'm gonna... Stop laughing, you. I'll make you sit on the couch. <laughs> you wanna come up here and talk a little bit? Or? No? No, you're right. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> um, I guess I'll take this time to mention how support of the developer has been of us as a speedrun community. Um, like I say, anything huge that we found that we're doing, he he has kind of patched them a little bit. He's basically like, you'll notice I hold the charge shot a lot. That's because a lot of tricks are locked behind that charge shot. Um, there should be a cutscene happening. There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're good. Um, yeah, so a lot of tricks like the Quantum Leap that was found pretty early on, and we were like, we'd, we'd kind of like to use it, it's pretty cool. And he was like, well that's fine, but I'm just going to make it so casual players can't find them accidentally. And we are like, that is totally fine. Um, so yeah, super supportive, even though there's not too many runners of this game, especially not active runners of this game. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's really nice that... You know, even though it's only like a, excuse me, shouldn't have got Pepsi. Like, even though it's only like a small community of us, he's uh, like, he's taking steps to make sure that his game's enjoyed like by everyone how they want to play it, 
and we want to break it a lot. Okay, taking it safe, taking it safe. Go up, go up, go up. I think I was being too safe. I think that was my issue. So like, I was making sure that I wrenched these things like really well. But then, you see that platform just takes us away. I was safe! Woo! <laughs> Applause, yay! <laughs> Uh, but you see, because we um, did a glitch, Robin, not Robin, Royal moonwalks to us. Um, not quite over the auto scroller just yet, but I can't goof it up anymore. It's fine. <laughs> so, yeah, just going through. Um, if there's any donations, this is a good time. I'm basically just going to keep shooting him to make him back off. All right, well, Nyx just donated $5. Say good luck, Burkus. Love you. from Nintendo Preston back home. Oh, hey, thank you. <laughs> that's uh, yeah, that's my friend Kev. All right, and while I've got the floor, I'd love to uh, remind everyone uh, who might not know that uh, there is a, a bid war going on during this game to either hug dad or don't hug dad right at the end of the game. So, uh, how much time do we have? Um, loads. Think? All right, absolutely All right. loads. Probably so, about another hour. So yeah, Hug Dad is uh, is well in the lead right now. So uh, if you're not a fan of hugs or or just not a fan of Dad, then uh, definitely get those donations in to change the tides once more. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I'm doing a little glitch here. We don't actually have to do it. Um, it's called walking while talking. But you can see now there's two of the captain and there's two of Royal. Uh, hopefully I get the quick kill. Uh, if I hold the right key, that might help. Uh, there we go, nice. So I used the lightning field of the rocket to also do damage with the rocket, but also to one-shot him. Um, so that was pretty good. Uh, what the walking while talking glitch does is it gives us infinite health. Um, which we don't need in this mode, but, you know, you get the cool little animation. Like, a uh, glitch. Oh, that was almost slick. Um, so what happened there is we went to the One Concern West and Royal's still really trying to show us off to his friends. Um, so he's like, I'm going to go in. I'll be like five minutes. You know, don't worry about it. And we we're like, okay, cool. And then we wait way more than five minutes. And so it's like, right, set this. We're going to go try and find something else. Um, so we're going to go somewhere else. A uh, nice little skip just there. Didn't skip too much. We're just jumping over stuff instead of doing it. Um, so, oop, that was a goof. There we go. So I'm going to dodge roll into here. DL Crush, if you're watching, this is the easier way to get this swim. Um, I, to, like, I talked about this trap, but didn't make a video of it. <laughs> um, so that's the easy way to do it, DL. Um, so we talked to Mina very briefly just then. Uh, and I mentioned that we skipped a boss before, um, so we're going to go fight it, if that's alright with the game. There we go. So, yeah, so we spoke to Mina, she's like, right, we need to, we need to find Dr. Gustavo, uh, and he's going to tell us how to get into this door, because the door, we can't get into One Concern West, but we want to. Um, I feel like most of that made sense. Uh, so that's what we're meant to be doing, but we're going to go back here. We're going to go fire boss. Um, so again, out of bounds. So now, because I'm in a grounded air swim, so the game thinks I'm on the ground right now, I can actually swim through the out of bounds areas, as opposed to it trying to put me back on the ground. Uh, yeah, I'll briefly mention that. Um, so there's two states, grounded and ungrounded. Um... And the way we manipulate that is by climbing ladders. Um, the reason we want to be grounded for some swims is so that it'll hit the cut. It'll, the cutscene will work. Uh, if I get hit by the other guy in here, okay, no, that's fine. I've lost anyway. Um, so I'll, I'm out of time. I have something else to talk about, but I'll talk about grounded and ungrounded in a little bit. So we get here, and then we're just gonna have a little nap. Does everyone, does everyone like naps at lunchtime? All right, good crowd. <laughs> uh, no, what we're actually going to do is we're going to swim. So Mina doesn't have a swimming animation because she's never meant to swim. 
but because we entered here while swimming, the game doesn't clear the swimming flag. Because, uh, obviously, it wouldn't, because we're not meant to be swimming here. Um, and right there's Letitia. That's why we do this fight now. Um, because she will only appear after fighting that auto scroll that took me way too long. Um, so she'll only appear after doing Darlin Descent. Like, this point in the game. Um, so we might as well kill two birds with one stone. Uh, it's handy enough to be at fast travel. So we just do it then. Um, and yeah, because we're swimming, it uh, means we can just skip over all these dudes. Unfortunately, we have to trigger these ones, but hopefully none of them hit me. Uh, any Call of Duty fans, uh, this is a reference for you guys. In reference to the slow-mo part at the end of the game, the end of every Call of Duty. <laughs> as far as I know, I've not actually played any, but it's fine. Uh, so now we're going to fight a boss. This is Controller 2. Um... A little bit tricky, especially while swimming. Uh, it's much more difficult to aim while swimming. Because um, it doesn't expect you to have any momentum whatsoever. And I'm missing every shot. There we go. So like I say, it doesn't expect you to have any momentum. So it doesn't always aim right away. You have to be like super deliberate with your shots. And... You can't really just quick aim. It's fine now. Okay, so last phase. Last phase. So we're going to hit these on the floor. So you'll see I kind of swim a little bit before I aim. That's just to super set my direction as over to the right. And that's that boss done. So, yeah, like I said, we did this fight now to make sure Letitia was here when we came through so we didn't so we don't have to come back um, so anyway grounded and ungrounded so basically whenever you hit a cutscene it does a quick check are you on the ground and then if you're not on the ground it's um, oh, one second this is there we go so it does a quick check it's like are you on the ground and you know, if you, like, say we jumped into cutscene, the game will be like, no, you're not on the ground. Right, let's put you on the ground. Um, but obviously, if we come in while swimming, uh, gravity, not much effect, so it's a soft lock. But if we enter the cutscene while grounded, and the game's like, hey, you're on the ground? We're like, yep, we're on the ground, totally. Um, and it just starts the cutscene, so it's pretty handy. Uh, but that's why we need to uh, monitor... Uh, well, I say monitor. We need to make sure that we hit some swims grounded and others ungrounded. Uh, gonna do a cool zip here. Boosh! Um, if you dodge roll into a ladder that's, um, uh, actually, I'm gonna go this way. If you dodge roll into a ladder that's, uh, connected to a ceiling, uh, you can just climb up and zip up, similar to the one we did in the Zilligar. So your head goes into the ceiling and you just, pew, straight up. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, now back here, I mentioned before we were meant to speak to Dr. Gustavo. I actually forgot to do this in practice. I have messed my order up a little bit. It's fine. Uh, just someone remind me to go to a fast travel. I was supposed to do that before this, but it's fine. It doesn't really cost any time, because I'm going to get like right next to a fast travel. Alright, so we talked to him. Uh, he's like, hey, go go hang out with my boy Ash. Uh, he he knows he knows how to get in. So like, okay, cool. Where's where's Ash? And he's like, oh, he's like just down the hall. So that's where we're going. Oh my god! Come on, get it. All right, that'll do. All right, so we're just gonna. Ugh, that is super hard to not take damage on. Uh, but I mean, we don't take any damage, so it's not so bad. Um, right, uh, this is Ash. This is a stealth boss, so I'm going to be very quiet for a second, for a change. Okay, one. I want to do it in less than three. Okay, that's one.
And that's three. Okay, that's not too bad. That was pretty good. You can do it in two. Uh, three is acceptable. And anything else is just trash. Uh, so basically, he's invisible. You have to hide as both characters. And you have to put Mina in the water because she stinks. See, I told you it was canonically important. <laughs> um, yeah, so we do all that. And we shoot them with the rockets because they do the most damage. You can shoot them with whatever, but that's not the fast travel. Let's find slight, slight detour. Don't know why I thought that was fast travel. Literally never done that before. Not you. There you are. See, you look nothing alike. I don't know why I did that. Um, it's fine. That's my good friend. Uh, do, do, do. So now we're going to go to Zilliga. Because that's the next Letitia location. Um, got one thing I want to mention and then... I'll pass it off to donations once I get there. I'll oh, just be in a second. So we're coming back here. Uh, one interesting thing is there's Mina saying like, hey, come hang out around Iziligar. But that's the cutscene from the start of Iziligar because we're meant to come this way. Like this game is very remarkably persistent about stuff that you've done and not done. So even if you completely broke stuff and skip cutscenes, they'll still be waiting for you later. Also, sorry, there's no third fish jump. We have the cool wrench. We can just do that. And uh, donations, please. Or whatever. All right. Well, Node, ha mm, sorry. Node Happy donated $15 to say you're doing great. By the way, what headset are you using? Um, thank you. And I don't know. Um, you'd have Luckily, to ask the organizers. I do know. Uh, okay. It's, uh, <laughs> yes, you are wearing a pair of Audio-Technica's Oh, oh, sorry. Audio Technica BPHS once with custom pads, because uh, I'm told the, uh, the the regular ones are uh, not very comfortable. Okay. Well, yeah, these are very comfortable and very good. Um, so yeah, this is where we came back. Talk to Letitia and get that ivory oil. Okay. Donations. <laughs> All right. Yes, I do have another one okay. from the one and only Joshimus. Oh. Donating fifteen dollars to say shout outs from the back of the room. We're all sat just off camera for some reason. <laughs> I'm putting this donation to a fantastic meme, which I hope Maki Baki understands. <laughs> That's not the way to say my name, but I know Joshimus would say it that way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, Joshimus and everyone. The meme he's referring to there is... Uh, Oh god, I didn't know about this as an incentive myself, but apparently uh, there is a bid war going on for the uh, gummy ship, or for naming the gummy ship oh, in yeah. Kingdom Hearts 3, and uh, they would like to name it Rider's Car. Oh, okay. Oh, boy, oh boy. All right. San Andreas memes, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back to you. Okay. Uh, where am I going next? Okay, so we've just got a bit more Letitia cleanup to do. Um, but this is, this is going to be the last, the last one we do. So, nice little rocket boost there. I don't currently have any tweak, because you lose it all when you take damage. So that, that still does affect you, so... It is still beneficial to not get hit. Because, especially certain sections, like, we, we need dodger. To, I didn't need to stop there. We need Dodger to do certain skips, so... Oh my... F flip. Flip's the word that I said. <laughs> okay. There we go. Slick. Uh, so we're going to go down here. Quick boost. And then... Boosh! We talked to Letitia. <laughs> that's, um, that's a pretty big room, and she's right at the bottom. But, as I said before... We just have to enter the room. We don't actually have to talk to her in any way. So normally I'd have Fleetfoot here, and it would really help, but I don't. So we're all, uh, we're all in it for the long haul. <laughs> Okie dokie. 
Come on. I think this is going better than the one I made my friends sit through the other week. Maybe slightly worse with the auto scroller, but I did it first try. Uh, so that that's why we needed to make sure we open that door. Otherwise, we'd have to go all the way around. Uh, there have been runs where I've forgotten to do that, and it's been painful. And I think it costs a key as well, so I think it messes up the key route. Um, but either way, we're kind of done. Once I get over to here... Ah, oh, I just slightly bopped. You can carry the speed the whole way, and it's like super cool. Uh, but, you know, it's fine. Um, yeah, so once I get over here, into this area, alright, I can skip this, but this is a pretty cute cutscene, so I'm going to show it off. Basically, the way that door works is, the door is always open, and until it sees someone that isn't, that is human, and not ivory infused. So, then it locks. So, what Ash told us is, you need to look not human. So, we're going to waddle over to the door. And I just thought that was kind of cute. I'm going to skip it now. And that's the way we sneak into the one concern base, by owning a ski jacket. So, like, anyone from Sweden could get in. <laughs> uh, so, here we are. We're in the one concern base. Uh, the reason that we're here is to look for our brother. Because uh, even though he's a bit whiny and really annoying, uh, and always trying to tell Robin what to do, he's still our brother. We still, we still want him. So, we're going to go find him. Uh, there was a cool strat I could do in here, but I don't have Fleet Foot, so I'm just going to go for uh, Damage Boost strats. Which, you know, is maybe a little bit quicker, actually. But, and you see that I've got a load of keys, so this super long puzzle, I'm going to skip that. Talk to uh, Elro's friend. Um, that was a cutscene now about something. Is this... Okay, this is the awful room. My friends will remember this room. Okay. I have a super tight window to grab those. And it's not going so well right now. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, come on. Don't be a repeat. I, get, I got it really good in the practice room as well. Uh... I might, I might go back down and get Fleet Foot. We'll see. Okay, one more go, and then I'm going to go get some Fleet Foot. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get Fleet Foot. Um, it'll just take a second. that guy. Ooh, not quite enough. Okay, there we go. Now I need to make sure not to lose it. So, I'm just going to be a little bit safe here. Unfortunately, I know that uh, I lost it. It's whatever, right. I'll just I'll just do it and it'll be good. That was a waste of time. Once I get once I get like the timing down, it's easy. Back 
to even get the first one. It's fine, don't don't worry about it, everyone. One, two. Okay. See what we were getting there. We were getting there. It's fine, this is this is the chill stream now. So if I had Fleet Foot, this would be so much easier. But I don't have Fleet Foot. And I don't actually remember how to do this room casually. Sorry, friends at home. I... I need to, like, the reason it's so difficult is I need to try and not bonk on the ceiling too much. But also not take too long. Uh, otherwise, I'll miss the cycle. Woo! There we go. Someone clap. Thank you. <laughs> That went way worse in the one I made my friends watch. I think I was in there for like 10 minutes. Um, so there's Blocker. He's um, actually a boss. Uh, I'm going to say boss. Because uh, you'll see why in a second. Uh, we're pretty close. Oops. Get hit by an egg. Because why not? Actually, having not having dodges is going to make this next stream a little bit trickier. Let me know when you want to celebrate your recent success with some donations. Um... So there's Mendeleev, she's a boss, and then I'm just going to go through the stream. Right, uh, yeah, donations now. Donations good, please. Alrighty, we've got Nord95 oh. donating $10 to say, Hey, this game's pretty neat. Put this towards blowing Ryder's car up in KH3. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we've got Noz, Nozlar, donating $10 to say, Even though San Andreas is the worst GTA, gotta support the boys. <laughs> Shoutouts to Ryder's car. Shout out to Riders Cars Big Fan. <laughs> Alright. Um Right, sorry, sorry about another one, I'm just gonna kick off quickly. Uh, so what we got there was the last gun upgrade. This is the Usurper. What this lets us do is swap places with our enemies. It's also the most powerful gun, which is why it's got like a cooldown for the shots, so we can't shoot it too much. And we're gonna use that a bit. It's also the quickest cooldown, so we're gonna use this one when we're doing bat boosts. And, okay, any more donations are good, please. Well, um, since we're all so focused on uh, on Rider's Car right now, I'd like to remind everyone that we do still have that bit war uh, for this game going on to either hug Dad or don't hug Dad right at the end of the game. And uh, hug Dad is still winning. I uh, Personally, I, I'd, I'd see it as a shame if that was broken, but hey, if the people want, uh, want Dad to not be hugged, then get your donations if the in people now, want it, that's what the people get. Exactly. I mean, they're slower, so... I don't think I need help being slower right now. <laughs> uh, you probably got time for, like, one or two more, if, if there's any going. Alright, well, uh, then I'd love to take the opportunity to uh, thank one of our partners, ViewSonic Elite. Because uh, Perkis M is uh, running this game on a ViewSonic Elite monitor right now. They are our exclusive monitor partner for 2019 and 2020. And uh, yeah, their beautiful monitor monitors are all over the place here. And they're uh, they're great. Yeah, there's like a 29-inch curved one in the practice room. It's really nice. <laughs> Not had a chance to go in it yet. Because I forgot to bring HDMI leads. Um, yeah, so there I skipped, uh, I skipped another quick puzzle. Just uh, because I have so many keys, uh, we're meant to like go downstairs and do a bunch of stuff. Um, but again, because we have so many keys at our disposal, uh, we can just kind of pick and choose which ones are the quickest to get. So, another bus. I told you this was a bus. Um, I'm actually going to do this blindfolded. It's 
So as you can see, my gun is just behind his shield, which is hitting the thing that damages him. So that's all we have to do for that fight. It's pretty good. I call that one GG easy, <laughs> which would get me banned in Overwatch. Um, <laughs> Shoutouts to Overwatch. Um, yeah, so that's GG easy. Yeah, GG easy. Right. Um, really easy, easy boss. Um, what am I doing? Oh, I gotta go down here. Uh, so down here, there's um. I mentioned before that people get fused with ivory. Um, these are all the people who didn't quite make it. It's a little bit gross. Um, as you can see, a nice little, nice little scully boy right here, just hanging out. Don't forget your calcium. Um, so yeah, we go down there to get another key, because as I said before, we've got pretty much every key of the game at our disposal. So, we just pick which ones are quickest, which ones don't take too much time. Uh, again, that route is, that's the main part of the route that's really kind of changing right now. Because I feel like there's a couple of keys that we could maybe get over other ones, but, you know, we'll, we'll see. Um, so yeah, so we got the Usurper, we fought a boss. Um, gonna try and avoid some gubs in here. Yeah, okay. So now we've done that, we, um, basically we came here looking for Elro. Um, he's not here, annoyingly. Um, so we're going to leave. Um, but first, you know, we have to do some stuff before we leave. Jeez, that was not good. And before voice crack in chat. Alright. Um, there's a cutscene that I don't remember what that cutscene is. It's been so long since I have not seen, well, since I've seen that cutscene. So we're going to go up here, uh, get another yeet. There we go. Oop. Yeet. I didn't even get it. One sec. There we go. I uh, get this chest. So that's it for collectibles. Uh, collectibles, or, you know, whatever stuff. Stuff that I will be collecting. Um. Oh, interesting strat here. There we go. Skip one. There we go. Skip two. I actually just learned that strat. Uh, basically, what we're meant to do is swap with these guys, like on every single one. Which is why I put them damage things to stop us from doing what I just did. But, you know, we, we figured it out. We're smart. We're smart at speedrunners of this game. Um, so, yeah. So, we're leaving. Um, what are we doing now? Um, ooh, I think there's a funny cutscene here. Or is it the next one? I think it's the next one. Uh, so, we're going. We're trying to leave. And the most important line of dialogue... Don't point your butt at me. Good, uh, good, you know, good advice in life, really. Just don't point your butt at people. Um, so this is black. In this room, uh, you kind of saw Royal in a room like this before. She can't regenerate. So, uh, normally this would be a very, very health conscious boss. She does an attack that drains you down to like 10% HP. And then you have to heal, like, get health from the little enemy she spawns, but she doesn't do that attack, because it would just be, it'd be redundant, basically, because we don't take damage. Um, so we've done that, uh, and then we're going to go to One Concern East, uh, Sea of Royals hanging out there, not Royal, Elro, they're all the same, they all whinge and cry. Um, so, like, so there, bat boosts, doing all that, gubs, uh, doing some stomps, because we all love stomping. You know, it's like the Jade Cocoon run. Shout, shout out to that Jade Cocoon run, by the way, that was really interesting. Um, don't know where Leonis and Mitako are, but, good job. Um, so yeah, we're going through, um, cutscene talking about some stuff that I don't remember. And here we find Elro crying, because nothing goes his way. Mm. Cry, baby. Um, this is a little skip. Uh, this basically just saves going around the side. Uh, like the other side. I don't even remember what that looks like. 
Uh, hopefully skip all these dudes. Mm, not quite, but it's fine. You might as well just take the hit there, because you either have to crouch to dodge it or... So, you know, not a lot we can do. I'm going to craft the last tweak now, just so I don't forget, and then equip it. Because why not? So what I got there was bomb cooldown. Um, that basically just means we can fire our bombs quicker. Not too useful right now. It's going to be useful for one boss in particular. And But, you know, we'll see that when we get to it. So now we've gone to City 1. Because Royal wants to speak to Mother, who is like the leader. Um, and basically like the heaven of, like, kind of, like the utopia of this place. So we knock Peter off from the gate of heaven, which is the metaphor there. He's actually called Peter, if you talk to him. Um, but we're like, eh, you know, we'll use the usurper. Uh, that lets us swap places with him. And then he just lets us in. I think there's a door or something. Um... So yeah, now we're in City 1. There's no penance in City 1. Everyone here is considered the goody goody good boys of this planet, which doesn't have a name. Uh, that guy on the floor was actually in Settlement 17 before. He's managed to work his way up and get into City 1. I don't know how many like in-game days this is over, but he did alright. So, quick puzzle. We're going to do this fast so we can do it in one go. There we go, and completely forget to do the last bit of the puzzle. Nice. Uh, so we're going through. Um, like I say, it's like, you generally kind of talk to everyone here and they'd give you a good bit of story insight about this place, but please do play this game. The story is fantastic. Um, I know I'm glossing over certain stuff. Uh, it goes way deeper than what I'm saying. Because I'm kind of piecing it together. I don't remember a lot of the story anymore. Because it's been so long. Um, yeah, so now we're coming to speak to Mother. Royal's like, you will respect me. We're going to go speak to the Starworm. Because uh, the Starworm is their god. Or whatever. And now for the second worst boss fight. Um, not technically an auto-scroller, might as well be. We can only attack her during one attack, and she has to do four attacks before she'll do that one attack. So, um, there was that one, the train thing. Okay, maybe she doesn't have to do four, because this is the attack that we can attack her on. I think it's four after this one. I don't fully remember. Um, so the stomp attack, I'm going to try, yeah, I couldn't keep just to the right enough. Because that tail doesn't count as an attack. So we try and keep to the left of her as much as possible. Uh, this one, I'm going to go one, two, three, boosh. Dunzo. And let's see. Train, again, just jump over. Do some swag strats, which don't do anything. And that one, which you just jump. Two, three, one, two, three, four, uh, swap. And that's pretty much every attack. So if there's any donations or anything, I've got another two phases of this. So uh, anything you want to read out, go nuts. All right. Well, uh, I think this is quite on topic because because Pox donated another oh. $18.94 to say, don't softlock the other auto scroller. <laughs> Also, don't hug dad. And yes, that did once again flip us uh, the other way. We are currently uh, not not going to the hug, hug dad. Okay, thank you, thank you very much, Pox. He uh, he was very very pivotal in the starting of the rooting of this game. He found a lot of cool stuff. Um, unfo like, unfortunately, like we found other stuff that kind of neg negated a lot of his stuff, but. He, he found a lot of cool things. So, yeah, shout-outs to Pox. So, Riddleith, if you're watching, yeah, shout-out to you, too. Um, yeah, sorry, carry on. But yes, everyone, that uh, another mere $5 can turn the tide once more. I will, I, I'm not going to calm down about it. I would love to uh, <laughs> to still see you hug Dad. So, But uh, if I have another second, then uh, I would love to thank yeah. another one of our partners, Elgato, because... Uh, 
They are running stream pods in the back. You can probably see them behind uh, Perkis M, the big green screens with the computers in front of them. Yeah, the big creeper in the back. <laughs> I've seen that in chat, yeah. <laughs> they are open to everyone, and, uh, you know, going to an event can be hard for full-time streamers, and these streaming pods let these streamers uh, stay connected while on the road. So thank you very much to Elgato for providing these. Okay, so we are done with the auto-scroller that isn't technically an auto-scroller. Um, so now we're in the Bastion. This is kind of like the big headquarters uh, or whatever. Uh, I'm going to try and not goof this. Uh, there's one room in particular that can go very wrong. Um, and we'll see. Is it? It is this room. Okay. I was waiting for my charge shot. So to not aggro that guy. Oh, yeah. Okay, now they're all aggroed, so this is going to be tricky. So I'm just going to play it very, very, very safe. Okay, that is like the tricky room. It's like, say, if, like, once those guys get aggroed, it's pretty tough to get through. This room's nice and easy, though. So I'm just going to pick up this electric box, which carries our electricity. And then just crawl through. Like, that's fine. And that's Bastion. That's, uh, it's not very hard. Like I say, it's just that one room that's really kind of make or break. So, a lot of story stuff's gonna happen right now. Uh, I'm not really gonna explain it. Um, because I, I want people to enjoy the game. But that is Father, and that's General Chrome. And Tolo, which if you're just joining us, uh, translate Tolo from Portuguese, and you'll get a nice little Easter egg. Um, so this is City Escape, so any Sonic fans, this is exactly the same. <laughs> it's not really. Um, well, I was practicing this before, so hopefully I do alright. So we got lots of these um, things that pop up. That was good. I'm a god. Alright. Cracking on. That wasn't so good. That was all... It, it's fine. You know. <laughs> having fun. Having fun is the important thing. Doesn't matter if the run sucks. If we're having fun, then it's good. Oops. I should be looking at what I'm doing. see, 20 minutes to get sub 2. I don't think I'm getting sub 2, unfortunately. Uh, although, why not? Too far off. So that was City Escape. Uh, I'm going to get something ready on my phone. There we go. Alright, so we're going back to one concern ease. Um, I don't remember why, but we are. Some of, oh, we're gonna we're gonna go see Star Worm. because uh, we killed Mother. I don't know if you saw that big tree that was there. Um, but yeah, that big tree was Mother. Um, so we're gonna go here. Um, go into this room, and now we're gonna play as Mina again. So, Mina's cool. She's got this cool kind of Mega Man slide. And that's her quickest form of movement. Unfortunately, Robin does not have that at her disposal. And now, 1 minute and 45 second auto scroller. So, I'm going to place Mina here and I'm just going to chill out. So, everyone have a good time. Get a beverage, get a Red Bull. Because they're sponsoring this event. I'm totally drinking Red Bull. Like I said, fortunately, unlike the other auto scroller where you can soft lock, you can't soft lock in this one. I could make it take longer, but I'm not going to do that because I've got this timer that's going to tell me when to pay attention again. Um, how you doing, H? You alright? Good. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, any any more donations you have 
57 seconds. Oh my, okay. <laughs> I think I think I can use those because okay. we have a donation from Note Happy, yet another. I, I think I've seen that name a few oh, times yeah. before. Thank you very much. Donated $15 to say, I wanted to hear the sultry voice of donations. Give some ASMR goodness by saying, Shivery figurines should donate cash to delicious costs. <laughs> Thank you. What is it? Shivery figurines? Yeah. Okay. Shivery figurines Shivery should figurines. donate should donate cash to delicious costs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got 17 seconds to go. Um, like I said, in modes where you do lose health, you just stand on here and shoot stuff. Uh, I'm gonna pause this timer so it doesn't go off, but it was 1 minute 45 seconds. Uh, so here's where you can soft lock. Uh, fortunately I didn't. If you get pinned between those, you basically just have to start the thing again. And now, the waifu of the game. This is Mendeleev. She is... You know, she's alright. But we're gonna fight her. As Mina. Which is good, because Mendeleev is like the most movement based boss for the character who shoots the slowest and oh, why did that go all the way over there basically you have to wait till the best way to do damage to her is to wait till she's purple and then shoot her into the electric like that um so we're still gonna like chip away at her when she's not purple because we can do a little bit of damage uh if i'm not goofing which i've been doing a bit of goofing uh you know, just just little little bits of chips, and wait for it to turn purple, and then boosh, splash her in electricity, which she can survive. Because these people are like the next agents. I believe they're called the New Order or something to that effect. Um, and they're next in line after Agent Black. Did I even mention Agent Black's name? Uh, Agent Black. There we go, and that's done. That's Mina. That is the smoothest I've ever done that fight. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, she's cute, right? <laughs> she's electrocuted now, though. Um, yeah, so she's she's done. She's gone. That is the developer's favorite character. Just a nice little bit of trivia there. Um, so yeah, Mega Man dashing through. And then you're going to get a Mega Man dash into that cutscene. That lets us carry just a little bit of speed. Uh, now we're in Robin's section. So, she's gonna go fight someone else, but because it's Robin, uh, we're gonna do a puzzle first. And I forget who found the next trick, so I apologize. But someone found a new trick very recently, which saves a lot of time in this room. Uh, I think it was DL Crush. Or, yeah, I think it was Crush. Also, Sean, if you're watching, I'm gonna shout you out later. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Um, so what I'm going to do is charge up my gubbins, jump up through this wall, and then activate the thing through the wall. So what that lets us do is there's like a door tied to that switch, that little thing that I just did with the electricity. And what you're meant to do is go all the way through and uh, switch... The direction of this so that you can smash those blocks um, but instead uh, we just jump through so we don't have to do a return trip uh, that's that's what I was saying actually I might make a quick save here I might show off a cool skip player so this is noble noble is the worst boss fight with the easiest skip which we can't use because we can't skip them uh, unfortunately. So, Noble is invisible. And... There we go. Uh, is she in there? I can't attack her now, anyway. I'm out of... Oop. Yeah, so... She's invisible, and she goes absolutely everywhere. And leaves electricity that will stun lock you. Like, everywhere. So, I'm gonna try and talk, but I do kinda need to concentrate. I'm just trying to basically guess where she is. And she leaves those things. These things are annoying. I will definitely hit one of those before the fire is over. 
Not intentionally. Just because I'm pretty bad. There we go, see? <laughs> and then he's still like you for so long. It's a... Uh... Alright, get a wrench, because I overheated. We're nearly there. Oh, I, I didn't even see that one. That's the thing. You're looking everywhere to check where Noble is. That you forget to check for electricity. One more hit and she's done now. Can anyone see her? Oh, there she is. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. There we go. I told you, one hit. <laughs> Thank you. That's, like I say, it's not difficult. That fight's not difficult. It's just annoying. Because you can't see it, and there's no way of telling where she's going to go. She just jumps absolutely everywhere. Um, but yeah, that is... Uh, noble? And uh, now we're going to go fight someone called Lawrence. Uh, but if you have a second to celebrate that victory with another donation, please let me know. Um, you know what? We do, because this is how far Elro moves. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. <laughs> so, great time for donations. All right, well, Tripwires sent in another $15 to say, Poor Dad, he deserves a hug. <laughs> so, yes. Just hugging Dad is once again in the lead. Oh, nice. Very happy to say. How how much is on each right now? Ooh, let's have a little double check. One second. Um, ooh, Hug Dad is currently at a beautiful round number of $70. Oh, nice. And Don't Hug Dad is at $56.81. Oh, nice, nice. So there's, uh, there's quite a big gap. And um, you know what? If, if, you, if you're going to donate to that one, just... just just vote to hug dad. Come on. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to do a cool little trick here. I'm going to counter and damage boost. And damage boosting lets us walk at a regular pace. So we want to do that as much as possible. And hopefully get it again here. Nope. This guy doesn't like to cooperate. And then I want to get him to hit me while I'm up here. That's not going to... They're not very smart. Jump up! Oh my god. There we go! And that's good. Oh, now he's gonna follow us. Now he's smart. <laughs> okay, that should be fine. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Don't you shoot me. Okay. <laughs> and now we're fighting Lawrence. So, much in the same vein of that last fight, uh, we're just gonna damage boost and stab him. If this wasn't relaxed, uh, we'd have to do this properly because um, it takes more hits for us to kill him than it does for him to kill us so we'd only be able to damage boost six times but because we can't die we can damage boost all 12 times and that's pretty much it for this fight I basically just walk forward turn around let him hit me and walk over so any more donations I think you've got about another minute well, I'd like to take a quick second to uh, remind you personally, Perkism, to please uh, remind me to close the, uh, the donation incentive. Oh, I will, Just I will. There's so much time. Bit, a little bit before it, actually, before you need your final answer. All right? Okay, okay. Thank you very much. All right. Then uh, to, uh, I can... Ooh. What shall we do? What shall we do? You gotta... <laughs> that, the, the boss's health is your time limit. <laughs> oh, my. Ooh. That's moving quite quick. Yeah, you know, it's... Is it? Quick-ish. Right. Quick-ish. Well, we've got plenty of donation incentives for you all to donate towards, and it all adds up. Not only providing extra entertainment on stream, but also making a difference for children all over the world in Save the Children's programs. Thank you very much for supporting Save the Children. Oof. That was good. Okay, there's only one more hit left. Boom, and that is Lawrence. He, yeah. Elro section is... That is part of the reason we don't like Elro as a whole. <laughs> he just walks so slow, and I know it's meant to be this huge, big fight of, like, attrition. Where it's like, oh, it's really tough. Like, it's a war between two, like, giants, but it's just boring and slow. <laughs> I get what I get what the dev was going for. But for a speed game, like, dropping the run speed by, like, a quarter isn't very... 75% was what I was looking for. By 75%. Isn't too good.
Um. Okay, so a nice little bit of movement tech through there. And then... Oh no, the lift's not working. Uh, we're trying to get to a spaceship right now. I don't know if I mentioned that. Did I? Hannah, did I mention that? Nope. Okay, she's not paying attention. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to cheese this boss just a little bit. They obviously expect you to kind of wrench those little thingies. Uh, but we've got an electric bomb. So we're going to use those instead. Hopefully get a fast crawl into here. There we go. Look at that. Very snazzy. And so yeah, we did that, and now we're going to get to the spaceship, but Black doesn't want us going to the spaceship. So, I'm going to swap to this one, and now we're going to fight Black again. Uh, this is like the best song in the game. So, I'm going to explain what I'm doing. I basically shoot a rocket, and then wrench her twice, and then hit her with a seed, and there's going to be six phases. But I want to let this song play out just a little bit. Okay, so that's, um, that's black too. Um, so we fought her, and we're finally going to go to space. Or we're not, because she choked so much ivory that she's become kind of gross. Very pretty, like, not pretty, very pretty art is what I was looking for. Very well done. And it's like the second phase of this song. So, ooh. this boss has a uh, three... Weak spots. Now you can only hit two of them during certain attacks. Uh, so I want to make sure that when those attacks happen, um, I do the damage. So there we go. So we got two of them. So we've only got one more. Uh, fortunately, the dev was pretty nice. So when that's the only one left, he's pretty nice. Uh, he's going to give me that attack quite a bit. Um, like I say, like, he's not going to do the other one. Like, she's not going to do the other ones. I could have, I could have, I could have finished it then, but I goofed. So that's fine. So one more phase to go. Ah, this song, though, so good. Um, so, yeah, she's going to pop out. Um, there's a decent reason why it's the brain that pops out. Um. Don't, I really don't want to spoil the game for everyone, so. Fortunately, I'm not going to hit sub 2. But. I was hoping for sub 2. It might have happened had I not goofed. Uh, but that's that boss. Again, not too tricky. Just about knowing his cycles. Uh, but now we're going to go to space. Uh, have I said space enough yet? <laughs> And now we're in space. There we go. We're here. Uh, so we're going to talk to Royal. He's like, okay, we're here. Let's go talk to Starworm. Uh, you'll notice here, uh, these doors, they only open to people with ivory in the system. Uh, that's going to be important later. If anyone knows what's about to happen, don't spoil it in chat. Uh, so we're going to go through. And... These are all the doors for the people who are meant to be here. That is Black's real name. There you go. Um, <laughs> Madeline Binoch. Oh, Binoch. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, so we're going through. Uh, we talked to Starworm. And basically Starworm's like, eh. And Robin gets annoyed. Royal gets annoyed. Tries to shoot him. A uh, little visual glitch happening right now. If you just keep the down button held then the animation doesn't start playing, so we're just going to slide across the floor. It's very nice. 
Uh, unfortunately, can't do it the whole way. Because um, there is a jump here. But look how strong Robin is, though. Could you do this, H? Yeah? Could you carry me over your shoulders? <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, we're, working, we're trying to save Royal. Uh, basically, the Starworm shot at uh, the, uh, the base or whatever. And put a hole in it. So, we're going to leave. We're going to leave super quickly. Um, in 2 minutes 44 seconds. It's not going to take anywhere near that long. Um, so, you know, just strolling through. We get to hear this nice song again, though. Um, yeah, Royal's kind of crying. Basically, there's a whole thing. No one really likes him. Especially not Mother. But he, like, idolizes all of them. And Starworm didn't even want to speak to him. And we're like, yeah, that's really sad, Royal. But see you later. And we're just going to leave him. <laughs> no more Royal. Uh, you you can't save him. There's debate online about whether you can or not. You can't save him. It's part of the storyline. Um, Alright, so now we're super close to the end of the game. We've got a few things to clean up, though. Um, so, first thing we're going to do is we've got a secret boss fight. Ooh, secret. Um... Which is the best one, best fight in the game by far. And we're gonna go there. So you notice we still got a key. That's not because I messed up my route. Um, as I mentioned before, this game is super persistent. Like if you don't do something, it's waiting for you later. So here's the start of Shockwoods. Uh, this is how we were meant to get into Shockwoods. So you'll see we've still got, now we have Elro and Mina in our party. Uh, they're not supposed to be there. Like, we're supposed to be by ourselves. But, you know, they're there. Because you get them at the start of Shockwoods. So, that's why we have the key. Um, all good now, though. So, this fight... A lot of people think you have to get five notes to enter this fight. You don't. They're just clues. If you know where it is, you can just go. It's fine. It's easy. Um, and now, like, the coolest fight in the game. Which, unfortunately, I'm relaxed isn't quite as cool but this is a very difficult one because uh, there's two of them and they have lots of attacks that they like to do and they swap between them so uh, Lancer on our discord made a lovely spreadsheet for this boss fight and just this boss fight for every single attack and I'm going to do a quick strat here. See, hitting both of them does tons of damage. Uh, yeah, so he made a spreadsheet that had every every attack, how to respond to it. And unfortunately, in Relaxed, we, we, we don't really need to listen to it. We can just DPS pretty much everything. And just kind of tank hits. And that's done. Like I say, unfortunately, Relax Mode does make, make some fights a bit more cheesy. But... That's probably my favorite one of the run. These were Mother's mother's sidekicks. They're called Mother's Corners. Uh, and they still they still believe everything. Um, but it's fine. Uh, I'm going to avoid this tweak. That right there is the double jump tweak. Um, we don't we don't need it. We, we never... Oh, I'm just actually... I'm going to... I'll do that later. Um, like I said, we don't need the double jump. Um, like, we could get it. I mean, we can only get the double jump at this point in the game anyway. Um, but another thing is the double jump doesn't stack. Quick quantum leap there. Um, so you can see how much we skipped just there. Um, but yeah, the double jump doesn't stack with the gun boost. So, it's kind of pointless to have, like, because it's not really much height over the double, the, the, uh, the gun boost. Uh, but you know, we're good now. Just gonna go down. And now we're in a impact zone. Uh, so now this is like, we're pretty close to the end of the game now. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do this in less than six minutes. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I do, but it's fine. Um, sorry, six minutes. My, my PB is like two hours eight. Which is, uh... I was hoping to get a PB, but it's fine. 
Um, so yeah, we got to. Um, we need the usurper for this bit because we got to get the goop off him, which we can only get off with the usurper, and then we got to kill him just as normal. So these guys are a little bit different. The controllers, uh, we can just shoot them whenever. But again, everyone else we have to hit with the usurper. Hey. Uh, okay. Oh, nice, 20k. I had no idea what you were about. <laughs> Thank you very much for your donations. Uh, okay, so there's um, there's four phases of this. Oh, I goofed up the tracks. I, I was distracted by 20k. Uh, oh, come on. There we go. So I'm just gonna kill this guy. Try and I'm trying. I am trying to jump over him, but I'm not doing so good. Uh, and then there should be a cactus over here. I call, I've always called these guys cactuses. They're not really cactuses, I guess. But the cactuses to me. Or oh, cacti. Sorry, that's the word. Uh, right, I'm going to try for a skip here. I'm probably not going to get it, though. Nope. You can, you can zip into the ceiling. I thought I just got it, but it's fine. It doesn't really save too much time. I might be able to get a backup skip. I'm just, I'm just gonna shoot him. It's taking too long. You can, like, basically, like, the reason some of the skips work is if you leave a screen, uh, it resets it. So, if, even if you leave a screen while there's enemies on there, it still resets it. So it gets rid of all the enemies. So that's, um, what that was all about. Uh, so now, just going to rearrange my tweaks just a little bit. We're almost at the end of the game. We're nearly there. Uh, we just got a couple of things to clean up. Well, one more thing to clean up. So, you remember, uh, Letitia. You might remember Letitia, you might have forgotten. Um, the reason we had to go find her was to activate this boss fight. Uh, and as you know, all bosses means all bosses, even the secret ones. So you wouldn't, during a casual playthrough, you would fight everyone apart from corners and this one right here. Um, so we're going to do a bit of swimming. Also, in like regular play, you like you need to craft two breathless tweaks, which are tweaks that increase your air meter. Uh, otherwise, you just can't reach it. Um... Because it's a lot of swimming. Uh, fortunately, again, like we don't we don't have any any worry about oxygen. We got we got uh, like scuba diving gear and that. So I'm gonna use Dodger to go through here. Avoid this tweak because we don't want that one. Uh, I was considering using that tweak for a donation incentive, but it just made it super boring. So I'm not going to. Uh, right. So a boss fight. Uh, cool little animation glitch that happens when you don't press any inputs when you come into this fight. Uh, I only just found out this morning and thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, right, so the reason we wanted the bomb tweak was because this phase, you need to clear two health bars and you can only damage him with the bombs. And this fight is nuts. Uh, this, this took me so long casually. It's very hard when you're not unrelaxed. But, like I say, we can only damage it with bombs. And because it's so much of his health, it's quicker to go out of our way and get those tweaks. And not lose the tweak, which I just lost, so ignore me. I get it back, though. So you can see how much quicker it is. And that's why we get bomb cooldown, to save fight on this fight and this fight only. 
Because apart from that, we don't really use bombs. Like, it's only, it's only when we have to. But now we're fine. So now I'm going to do the standard DPS of this game, which is four usurper shots. Spam with the blaster until it's cooled down again. And now we're at the easy bit. And of course, I overheat. If you get a bit too, uh, a bit too happy with the usurper, you end up cooling down. And that's Fitzroy. Uh, that was why we had to spend so much time going and finding Letitia. Um, okay, I got time for a quick donation now. And right. then when I'm going to go into fast travel, when I come up back to the impact crater, uh, cut off the incentive then. Alrighty. Well, first of all, uh, we have Rydog donating $50 to say, Boy, GTA boys, it would be a shame if someone were to snipe the boat name. I guess we will name it the Grip TV ship. <laughs> and we do have uh, the big, the big one who broke the 20k waiting on oh, nice. So if we have time? Yeah, 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 yeah. We do? All mm -hmm. right, all right. Because that was Tompa donating a staggering $185. Oh, jeez. With the comment, did I hear the smell of 20k? <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry to disappoint about, uh, all the GTA boys, because uh, that 185 went straight to the gummy ship. Name the TAS. Ooh. Um... Okay, yeah, probably, uh, I'd cut off the incentive at the end of this corridor. All right, thank you. Uh, yeah, because this is coming to the final room now. Um, so I don't, I don't need to know just yet, uh, but cut it off now. So this is Nightmare. Um, these were kind of like in Robin's head right now. So we have to... We're kind of fighting like her thoughts. So these are different people. So that was Elro. I'm going to try and get a glitch here. Um... Okay, I didn't get in this phase. It's not too important in this phase. Uh, so this is representing Mina. Um, basically, there is a friendship mechanic in this game. So depending on how certain characters like you, uh, changes how aggressive they are in this fight. Um, but we kind of skipped all that, so everyone's pretty aggressive. Quick, hopefully I get the glitch. I didn't get it. Uh, you can get an infinite wrench glitch here, so the wrench is like constantly spinning. Um, which obviously saves a lot of time in this phase. Uh, I, I missed it. You have like one frame to get it, maybe two, but... Uh, it's fine. Um, right, I'd say who... yeah, who won the bid war? Who won the bid war? Sorry, um, <laughs> which, which, which one? <laughs> <laughs> right, I've only got one thing to say. Hug that dad. Are we hugging dad? <laughs> all right, you all know the speedrun very well. Um, right, so... Okay, so we've... Four our bad thoughts. Uh, we've got one bad thought less left. I can't speak. This would be way better if I could speak. One bad thought left, and that is the thought of our father, who passed away. So we're going to have a lovely talk that we're going to skip through. Uh, once we get instant text, uh, it's not a full cutscene skip, but because we can't, some cutscenes you can't skip. So he's saying like, you know, I was just trying to protect you. You know, like I know I wasn't always there. I was trying to provide for you. I'm sorry that I died, and all this. And are we hugging? Are we, ooh. Yeah, we're gonna hug. We're gonna hug. So we're making amends with our thoughts. And that's what you all donated for. <laughs> Thank you very much. What that changes is now when she wakes up here, she's happy. She doesn't do a grouchy animation, which looks something like this. Um, and it changes a phase in the final boss. Um, so yeah, this is the Star Worm. He's pretty angry at us because we've been kind of messing stuff up. Um, so I'm going to do my DPS that everyone does uh, for... Or three usurper shots, normally four. 
And then... Uh, try not to do bad here, but I did pretty bad. And, yep, keep going. Okay, and that's that phase. Right. Can anyone guess who the final boss is going to be? It's a big plot twist. If anyone wants to take a guess? You want to guess who the final boss is? No? She, she's not enjoying this whatsoever. <laughs> Alright, so, if any of you guessed that the final boss is a big bird, then congratulations. You win the game. Yeah. It is it is never explained. It is just a big blue bird. Uh basically what the kind of fan theory is is that the the planet that they're all living on is man-made. And oh, I'm just gonna swap to blaster. That is man-made and he kind of mines all the ivory. So this is what's different. Uh, and I got hit, so I didn't get the quick cycle. These blocks are either bomb blocks or charge shot blocks. And because we hooked that, uh, they are charge shot blocks. And normally you can get them all at once if you don't goof. Unfortunately, I goofed. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. You know what I mean? Just, just hang out. We're all having a good time, right? <laughs> oh, come on. You sh right, we should have not hooked that because that's what this bit would have been quicker. Oh my god, come on. Alright, there's one. It's really hard when they're all separate. Because you have to wait so long when you miss. And normally, I would not take this long. I promise I wouldn't. This has not been a good run. Okay, there we go. Alright, so then I'm just going to do some more DPS. Uh, like I said, the best, the best DPS is, it, when we can, is wrench and the thing. Um, that I kind of lost track there. Uh, right, so that is the bird defeated. Um, there's one, there's one input left in the run. And that'll be in about 30 seconds. So I'm going to give quick shout outs uh, while we're waiting. Uh, shout out to Dale Kuresh. He's found some cool stuff. Shout out to Riddlith. He helped out a lot in the early days. Shout out to Pox, who donated before. Uh, shout out to Lancer. He helped, or she helped. I don't actually know what their gender is. Um, and big shout outs to the big boy on second time. Uh, thank you. Yeah, big shout outs to the big boy, Sean PR. He put so much effort into this game. At one point, he had the full sweep. Unfortunately, it got took from him recently. But any any category with a run, Sean dominated. Um, also, shout outs to Risky CB because he got me pretty into this game. I actually started learning it like over there last year. Um, right, there is something I want to show off. Uh, are we good for time, or do I do I have like five, ten minutes or something? Or? Are we alright? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna show something off then. Uh, I'm just going to close the game. Uh, I'm not gonna make you all sit through the credits. Um, I'm just going to. Uh, hopefully this save is in a good spot. I didn't actually test. It should be. I imagine it's in a good... Okay, it's here. Right, so what I want to show off is basically every every category in the game, you start with Block Rock and you end with Nightmare. But in the middle is where it changes. So there's a nice little tree. I want to show off the any percent middle of the run uh, just how fast we can go through this game 
So where we are now is after the little uh, sneak sequence with all the puns and where we fought Kathunk. But instead of fighting Kathunk, we are instead going to get something called Infinite Wrench, um, which lets us... Oh, hold on. I didn't realize he hadn't done that bit yet. So these are DL Karasha saves. One sec. It's fine. I didn't. I saved over the save I made. Uh, okay, so we done done that. I'm gonna get infinite wrench again. Uh, we can do cool, just sliding across the floor. It's very nice. And instead of fighting, we're just gonna moonwalk straight out of that cutscene, uh, straight to the next level, so we can completely skip that boss. In regular any percent. And now we're at the desert. Um, instead of doing anything in the desert. Uh, what we are instead going to do. Is if I can get this. It's a very precise set of inputs. But there we go. What we are instead going to do. Is air swim straight into the fast travel. Uh, go through here. And we're going to go to Shockwoods. And if you remember before, I swam to Shockwoods, but I had to uh, get rid of the air swim. Um, we're not going to do that this time. We're going to keep the air swim. So we still have to talk to this dude. So again, as I said before, like grounded and ungrounded, because the game thinks we're underground. Uh, we're good to just talk to that dude. So we're going to swim... All through here. Go up here. Again, because we're grounded, we can swim through the outer bounds right now. Uh, go through here. And unfortunately, this boss's trigger is massive. So we're going to fight Carver again. Um, but we're swimming. So how are we going to shoot him? Because you can't shoot underwater, right? Well, we're just going to spam wrench. Uh, unfortunately, this, uh, again, the randomness is really bad for, especially while we're swimming. Um, so we just have to wait. Fortunately, that isn't a soft lock. He will eventually do the attack. One, two, three, two, three, four. So, again, we're fighting him while swimming. I should, hopefully, he does... A good phase next right I should have him now there we go so that's phase one so the reason we couldn't do this before was because of this so we're swimming um, so the game can't drop us to the next phase so instead we're gonna leave the room despawn the boss um, sorry about everyone's right ears right now there is a slightly annoying noise going on uh, but it won't be forever um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get out of bounds again. Unfortunately, we have to use the area we used before, so it takes just a little smidgen of time. Okay, um, and I can't really see. Okay, I'm still out of bounds. That's fine. Uh, should still be out of bounds. Okay, we're good. So I'm gonna swim up. Oh, there we go. And I'm going to make sure I'm nice and high. And then I'm going to go over here. Go down at this point. There we go. And because we're swimming, we can go into this entrance. And it doesn't take our weapons away from us. So instead of doing normal gubs, we are instead going to swim straight into this part. And now we have the wrench. Uh, that is very... Where am I? So yeah, now we have the wrench. And the reason that in, that's important, because all we need to beat the game is a gun and an electric wrench. Uh, so... Oop, I did it too many times. It's fine now. So yeah, all we need is a gun and an electric wrench. 
So, because we can't lose any oxygen whatsoever, uh, we go grab that wrench. And because we swam under the trigger to start the tower, it never, like, takes our weapon away from us or anything. So, we can just crack on. So, now we're at Block Rock. Uh, you might be wondering, why are you at Block Rock? That's the start of the game. Uh, well, first we got to get a grounded position. And it turns out that this grounded position is uh, pretty darn good. So, just going to grab that one. Um, also, we are ungrounded right now because of that ladder position. So, here, I'm going to do a cool warp because it's trying to put us back to that coordinate. Um, and then we're going to do a nice little trick. Uh, once I get there, it'll just be a second. So, we're going to go through here. Again, we're misaligned. So, I'm going to go down here. Hopefully, not soft lock. I didn't soft lock, but I'm going to have to go for the backup. So, for anyone who's played Ratchet and Clank, uh, they might know that like half their strats are doable because they put the end of the level at the start of the game. Well, Konjak did the same thing in this game. <laughs> so, now we're in the final zone of the game. Uh, it's just always there. Like I said, the game is very persistent. Uh, so everything that is there is pretty much always there. You know, bar a couple of things. Um, so now we're going to do some stuff. Uh, go down here. Activate these dudes. Uh, go around. That's going to zip us. That's why that ungrounded important position was especially important. That just saves a ton of time. Uh, and then, you know, we... Save here. And then... Do this. And then... Like I say, we're, we're at the end of the game. So... Then we just do this section again. I'm not going to make you sit through it all again. Don't, don't worry. But... Now we're at the final boss. So... <laughs> The world record for the any percent, which is also technically low percent, is about 15 minutes. So, very big contrast. Um, like I say, if you enjoyed what you saw, we have a Discord. Um, you can find it on speedrun.com. Um, yeah, like I say, check it out. We're all more than willing to help. It's loads of tutorials. Um, so yeah, I've been Mike, uh, also known as Perkism. Thank you all for watching. Huge shout-outs to Konjak, by the way. You've made a fantastic game. And... Yeah, that'll be me. So, yeah, thank you very much. All right, just before you go. Just before you go, I'd just like to thank everyone who uh, chipped into that uh, bid war. Yes. Because it totaled out to $126.81. Nice. That's, that's pretty, that's pretty very amazing, good. if you ask. <laughs> yeah. All right, so thank All you, right. everyone. Very thank much. you, everyone.
Okay, chat. We got a serious situation here. So we have a bit of war going on for the name of the spaceship in Kingdom Hearts 3. And right now, in first place, there's a name called Tass. The eight, 185. Yes, yes. And on second place, it's Ryder's car. <laughs> with 55. And we need Ryder's car to win. And Josh will dab for every $5 you donate towards Ryder's car. I will make the sacrifice. Exactly. So everyone in chat, get your $5 ready, spend it on Ryder's car, and make this guy dab all day long. We need, we need Ginny to drive Ryder's car everywhere. Exactly. And blow it up. <laughs> and speaking of dabbing, Josh, let's get right to it. We have a $20 donation saying that Joshimus has promised he will dab for every donation towards Ryder's car for the boat name. That alone is worth the incentive. Tell my family I love them. Yeah, let's go. And he will do that for every $5 from now on. So, Chet, get your money out. Ryder's car needs to win. This is important. We can't lose against Tass. Who cares about Tass? It's all about Ryder's car. All right? Three more. Every Three more. $5. I, yeah, look. The people, people have spoken. Every $5. And I was 20. <laughs> so, here we go. Let's go. Now, mind your head. <laughs> right as car! There is no other donations incentives anymore. It's only about Ryder's car. This is a national emergency. I'm not overstating this if I say your life depends on this donation that you will make now. So please, chat, grab your phones, click that button. And sent the five dollars. Five dollars, fifty, a hundred. We don't care how we get there. We just yeah. need to get there. If everyone in chat now does that, we'll we'll beat them. We'll beat them all. We'll show them. You'll be part of something better, something bigger. <laughs> I think the donation gets cut off about fifty minutes in. Yeah. The bid war even. So I'll, uh, during the run, I'll be in the background dabbing for every donation. Every time. <laughs> I'm sure Ginny won't mind. It'll be fine. <laughs> he, he thumbs up. Yeah, we'll he just confirmed it. it. So Josh will just be behind Ginny dabbing and we'll, we'll go. So let's get on that. That's the most value you will ever get for your money. Josh will never dab that much again, probably. You gotta save the run, save Ryder's car, and save the children. Exactly. <laughs> and we'll not leave you until you start donating. Don't go away. So just start it now. We're not gonna go away. What's your, what's your favorite bit about Ryder's car? My favorite bit? I bet, what? Well, How much it, you, what? Say something about Ryder's car. Give us a speech about Ryder's well, car. Well, I don't know. It's, it's, <laughs> it's like my most favorite car. I love to blow it up. Like, that's what I do. Also, we just got another $5 <laughs> from Nos saying, dab on him. Yeah, dab on the haters, Josh. Dab on the tassers. All right, let's go, Chad. Come on, where's the train? <laughs> We better not be on the wrong side of this train. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder if anyone got that one. I didn't even say it right. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the tracks, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's okay. He's, he's too focused about Ryder's car. This is, that's how important this like, is. My eye hurt inside. Dabbing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Chad. It's just us and you. And, well, the, and the tracker. And the tracker. And it keeps ticking. It keeps ticking up. I, it's gone up a bit. Yeah, I think there's another five coming here. Processing. I can't see it right now, but I think it's coming. Processing. Yeah. Oh, and I think there's another one coming. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Market Bucket donated $20. Put this towards the international emergency. That's four. <laughs> And we have another five dollars from Danny Danners saying, "Can I get a dab?" You may. <laughs> and another five dollars from Aura Blackwell saying, "Josh, please do another dab." I looked away. Don't miss it. Let's keep this going. I I, I think we're still a bit behind, so we're not close yet. Come on, 
We gotta we gotta at least have a hundred lead on Tass. This is not a this is not a joke. Tass is at 185. Riders cars now at 90. But we 90. need to go beyond. Yes. Who knows how many Tass fans there are out there? Exactly. Who cares about Tasses? We're not gonna make this close. We're gonna crash Tass. I see I see Tompa on his phone. What are you doing there, Tompa? Don't you dare, Tompa! <laughs> you better donate to Riders Car. <laughs> So yeah, Chad, come on. We're not even close yet. We, we gotta we gotta make sure that if Tomba wants to beat us, he will have to spend his whole life savings. That's that's where we need to get. <laughs> he said he will do it. You guys wanna ruin Tompa? We can do that too. <laughs> yeah, no one will ever let that go. You're gonna be the dab guy. Hello? 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 Oh you can yeah, do it. it's working. Okay. Okay. I've done a lot of dumb stuff at ESA for money before. Yeah. But this, uh, this is the most important. <laughs> this has the most meaning, mm -hmm. the most relevancy. It's a life and death situation. <laughs> so yeah, Chad, I want to say this again. Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming up, and we have a bit more going on for naming the spaceship. And yeah, right now we're losing. Rider's Card is losing. You're losing. We're all losing because Taz is winning. So you got to donate for Rider's Card now. And Do Josh will dab for every five dollars. If you donate ten dollars, you will dab twice. Fifteen, three, twenty, four, twenty-five, five times. That's we'll maths. just keep going. Quick if, you, if you donate a thousand, he will just be sitting there behind, standing there behind Ginny, dab the whole time, and I'm we'll gonna, count it down. I'm gonna collapse. Yeah. <laughs> he will dab until he falls over. He doesn't care. So please, Chad, come on. I know you can do it. We can do it. And we're not gonna go away, like we said. We'll just, we'll just be here. So please, do it for us. Rider's car is important to us. Yes. Yeah. We, uh, we still don't know to this day why it blows up. Maybe, maybe this run will give us the answer. Maybe Ginny will find the truth. Yeah. Maybe it will stop blowing up after we maybe, win this. Maybe Ginny won't even blow up. <laughs> Ginny, Ginny's already embracing the depth there as well. He's he's all on our he's all on our side. Clearly, Riders Car is on the on the right side of history here. We we gotta make it happen. But, Chad, I'm not seeing any any donations here. No, we could tell you about some other bid walls, but we won't. This is the only one yeah. that matters. There's there's only one left. Just one. This is it. After you win it, you can donate to something else, but not not yet, not yet. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's all about this. <laughs> And we're gonna keep looking at you. I saw the tracker go up. I yeah, I think something's coming. It went up like a lot. I think. Yeah. Let's see. I'm taking a deep breath. Are you ready? Oh, here it is. Tomain donating fifteen dollars. As much as I love to see Joshua stabbing, we gotta go fast and save the frames. I have a feeling this might not be for our incentive. Uh, Wyatt, can you uh, let us know what that's for? I can only imagine. I'm gonna check real quick. Yeah, that was towards the task. Boo! <laughs> All right, so no dabs for that. No. We got a $5 anonymous donation. Do a dab. All right. <laughs> we got another $5 from Item saying, when in doubt, dab it out. <laughs> and another $5 from Anonymous with no comment. I'll and dab. <laughs> and now we're set up for Kingdom Hearts 3, so we'll go there in a second, but I will take one more second to remind you. We gotta win. Rider's car needs to win. And there's one more five dollars from Tom236 saying dab for me. Can you fade out while on mid dab? Okay, we'll try this. So we'll fade out dab. And remember, Josh will dab in the background of Ginny all the time. You donate five dollars to the right cause. 